Street. <laughs> we are Mucus 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 Street. <laughs> What's going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome to another edition. After a few months, after some time has passed and all kinds of things have happened in the world and in our lives, all kinds of cleansing has happened, eliminations have happened, Mucoid plaque has been eliminated. Cloudy urine has been expelled. All kinds of things have been going on. And I am very excited and happy to be here right now with you live to talk about my favorite topic on the planet, which is the mucusless diet healing system by Professor Arnold Errett. I hope that you are all doing well. If you're able to participate in the chat, please do so. There is a link which I'll share in a moment that if you're on catching this on Facebook, if you want your name to show up, if we end up sharing your comment, then you have to go and uh, accept this stuff. And I'll, I'll post that up here in a moment. But uh, thank you all for tuning in. And, uh, and if you would, give this video a like, share this link so we get a little bit more of broader viewership we get some people uh, plugging in outside of our normal little network i'd really truly appreciate it that helps us so much when you just share our videos share the message quotes the the book all that good stuff really helps to get this message out there at an appropriate pace so we, we don't want to overwhelm the world if everybody started doing enemas at the same time uh, things would get <laughs> the 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 amount of waste product that would be inflicted back onto the earth could uh, be catastrophic so there is a natural transition that is taking place as more and more people discover the mucus free lifestyle and heal the power of this path for healing cleansing and uh, this remarkable system that we have a privilege to be able to practice and uh, uh without further ado let me introduce you to my right hand man best friend confidant mentor brother air give it up for brother air everybody's out there oh man and brought you on see i'm see you see i'm ready for live i'm ready for our our tour with the live shows because i'm like yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. bring you out like it's live like let's let's go i, I hear <laughs> I, I hear you talking so that's that's all I can say to that. I, yeah, I ain't yeah. talking. I've yeah. been ready. I've I've been I've been standing there with with, with my luggage ready to go for years. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. He's exactly. He he's been ready no, ready I, to go. He's been yeah yeah. Wait waiting on the on the world to catch up. And, and you were talking about a, a tsunami elimination. <laughs> I mean, it's happening all over the place. It's, it's uh, serious uh, eliminations I've, are going on. I've, I've been, I've been very, uh, very quiet in terms of uh, social. You know, just you know. I mean, this the the the, the title, um, coaching for you know for the for dummies, and and you know that's been like a a real big. You know, issue, my issue. You, that's your your issue. Has, has you know, you had problems with people not wanting to uh, apprentice in a timely manner. You know, we, we yeah, we, yeah. We, well, yeah, and we we we're gonna get into it, but yeah, go go ahead. Yeah, and and things like that. So my thing is is. Um, why I've been so standoffish, I guess, and you know, I've been just is that are people really reading the book? They get they 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 they're purchasing the book, they own the book, 
they try to use the word practice or you know uh practitioner um but are they really reading the book you know i mean like me are you sure are they reading the book or you are they are, are you uh, are, are they are they understanding are they over are they understanding the book are they overstanding the the book and those are the things that i want to get into like a real kind of um you know uh discussion about um because i'm just not having a lot of faith so let me let me set it up a little bit because most people act you kind of started in the middle they don't know what you're talking yeah, about yeah yeah so uh because originally i was gonna ooh, do some pleasantries and how how you doing no you were like no you were you even like no I'm not, there's no I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm there's, not there's nothing pleasant. pleasant right now there's, there's nothing, nothing you know nothing we got, pleasant <laughs> it's that it's that time of the year where we start losing all the you know the practitioners go haywire you know what I mean? It's it's that time of the year. It always happens where you know these folks who've been calling themselves practicing, then all of a sudden they, uh, you know, we kind of find out. You know, it's the uh, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, it's it's a thing we've done. Out, I mean, I've, you know. I've watched it for twenty years. You've watched right. it for forty years. Yeah, it's a cycle that unfortunately, you know, ha keep continues to happen. I think I'm a little optimistic. I, I think it's getting a little better than it's definitely better than it was like 15 years ago in terms of the that just just based on numbers and uh, but well, since you came into this, you know, it used to be every 10 years, and then now it's every 20 years. <laughs> That we find, <laughs> right? That, right. That, you know, that we find, you know, the the uh, the, the crew or the one, the few, the few that, uh, what do you say, a few good men, as as the uh, the, the, the the stanking the movie, well, the stanking uh, armed services, you know, as they say, a few good men, mm -hmm. um, and yeah. and 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 women, which is. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give yeah, me so yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 go yeah, yeah. into it. So let me <laughs> let me set it up and then and then, and then I will you can go off. And so so basically, all right, so co coaching for dummies. So what what does what does that really mean? So what over the years we've seen a, a prevalence and people coming and going that claim that they want to be coaches or they want to be health coaches they want to be raw food coaches or keto coaches or de detoxification specialists or all these different terminologies life coach got real popular the, the anthony robbins concept all these different kinds of coaching where are these coaches coming from oftentimes they're a product of the internet and they see other people doing things and like uh and they have this thing inside like i, I could be a coach and it's like okay well where what well how, well how do you become one now, i just i say that i am one and i and i am yeah there's there's a whole history uh, in a legacy and a tradition an ancient tradition that is being ignored that is being or maybe just they don't people don't know about it that what, no matter what the area of expertise is, there is a particular way to go about getting the training and the experience and the blessings of the community to be in those positions of, if you want to, you know, coach or mentor or those kinds of things. And so in the modern over the past, say like 10 years, there's definitely been an influx of people you know go get a certification take a certification course and something and then come out and say okay i am i'm now a coach or i'm whatever and so we so we're going to kind of get into that a little bit we'll give you our perspective 
on that like what does it mean to actually be a coach or what does it mean to be a mentor what does it within from a historic standpoint from the standpoint of mucus's diet healing system and and at the end or at, at, at some point i'm 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 gonna i'm opening my, i'm gonna be opening myself up and i'm gonna put a link down for for some applications if people want to join uh, us we got a research and development team and that's the inner circle for me the folks that i work with on a regular basis closely that get the benefit of any, anything that i have I have to offer they get freely you know and so we haven't let i think it's been three years since we've let did a search and allowed new people to join the research <laughs> and development team and so this is uh th this is the next that's a hard circle to, that's a hard circle to get in <laughs> yeah, yeah it's like it's only a few and let me and let me say this while i'm thinking of it be th the the theme my theme for today is is service thinking about service what can you do to serve and who can you ask like if you don't know exactly what to do is there somebody that you could go ask to find out well how can i better serve how can i level up my game get my skills together so that i can better serve the community i can better serve you i can better serve myself how can i position myself to serve you know that's i'm because i'm not I'm not seeing people talk like that i'm not seeing you know there's a whole missing link that we're gonna expose here today uh, when it comes to this dynamic of what what if you really want to be a leader a coach a mentor any of those concepts what what do you really need to do especially when there is no certification courses or if there, or there is no academic degree or program that doesn't mean that there's not work that needs to be done just because there's not a formal structure in fact that's that's closer to the ancient methods when there is no formal yeah, structure exactly. there is no there's no it money was passed on. It being, was passed there, on. there is no exchange of money there is an exchange yeah. of service there's an exchange of time um, and yeah. so so i so the question is how do you how do you go about that? How do you, when there is no way to, to pay your way in, then what do you do? You know, so I'm, and we'll, we'll get to that now, brother air. <laughs> go well, on, I on, mean, go um, I'm just always looking back at another year of exposing the so-called practitioners who call themselves and, um, observing the the constipation and fear that overcomes them and they uh you know um what it uh brother carlos from australia uh used the term uh anything goes sunday <laughs> mm. you know anything that's that's what i found out you know it's like all this stuff comes to the light and you find out about people and i have to say this is that you and sister decor has always been the ones that have kind of pulled my collar on those who i've who i've embraced <laughs> and kind of <laughs> Kind of, kind of had the spider senses to tell me like, what are you doing? Like, why? Are you? But I'm just, I'm just so, I'm just so, you know. It's like if somebody can do one thing well, I, I, I believe that they can do everything well. You know, what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know. But, but y'all have been the two who have always been like, what are you doing? Wasting your time? This day or not? Yeah, because we will say so. Yeah. Yeah. to give a little history like brother air what he started doing years ago and i don't know if he was just sitting around feeling lonely or what was going on but he <laughs> he'll post up his his personal phone number in the facebook group and be like hey 
Oh Carter. well, yeah, yeah. That <laughs> you was, know, that was just that was just. I mean, I I don't. You know, it's but, like but then that turned it, into like I'm I'm looking. If anybody yeah. wants to be be mentored, yeah, and, and, and I, me, and, you know. and, yeah, and, and that, like I say, I, I I didn't necessarily mind that, and I still do that because I don't have any fear of any of that kind of thing. But it, I'm just I'm just talking about not even in a mentor. I'm just talking about associates of people mm. that y'all see me see me kind of embracing and then yeah. y'all y'all kind of have a, a six list like, <laughs> like this, man like, why are you flag, like, like yeah. yeah like why are you and that's you know that, i mean once again another year comes around and and um and those folks have have been exposed to be you know a bunch of uh of uh, not practitioners that you can take seriously and um you know so you you know you just um you know when i say constipation and fear those are the two things that you can't that you you have as a practitioner as we go through this but fear you notice fear eliminates constipation is kind of a constant transition of cleansing and eventually you become less constipated therefore you 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 gain more clarity mm -hmm. fear can be can 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 just be totally eliminated by what by constantly cleansing that's what doesn't happen yeah and i've watched folks who is yeah i'm doing my animals i'm doing it. but it's it's that constant fear that still remains this you know practicing the mucus diet is the golden ticket right why is it that that's why i, I, I was talking about earlier like are you reading the same book that i'm reading you dig? I mean, mm -hmm. are, are, are you re because what I get from the pra from from reading the book and Arnold Eric is talking about clean blood. Clean blood represents radioactivity, right? I mean, that's that's what he was getting to, and that's where I'm. You know, now I'm I'm not seeing the practitioners who are claiming but to be but practice. but do you know what you got to do to get that education of what to even know but, what you just but, said but, but do you know what you have to do it, to get to that to, it, to, exactly, to be exposed it, it, to that it, exactly so so okay so you know and and i i, I i'm really hard on women you know it's like you know women got that radioactivity ill nana you know it's like do you know what you what you possess <laughs> you know <laughs> you know it's a, I'm, I'm real hard on the sisters because they have so much influence and, and 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 real real power and when they you know but they choose to you know they choose to be you know just you know scallywag type of mentalities and 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 not really harness the golden ticket it's like okay you got all this information but for some reason they're not they're not understanding the clean blood cleaning your blood cleaning your blood that's what eric was talking about that's why the mucus diet healing system is the only thing out there talking on that level about clean blood that's a, the, the food is a tool. It's a, it, it, the food is tools. It's not like everybody else's holistic diets that's out there on the internet. They're, they're, that, that food is everything to them. We use food as a tool because we 
like the 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 the, the, the we keeping our eye on the prize about blood. Clean blood creates more clarity in thought. Yeah, eliminates right, fear. I, eliminates fear. Eliminates fear. And, and, I, and I hope every, everybody's fear. taking notes. Write this down, because yeah. and 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 I'll say like all these years I've been doing this. I'm Professor Spira. I took some notes. What he just said: constipation and fear. That was a good one. That's 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 a good one. So you know, well, are I mean, you studying? I mean, we, are we, you we, studying? No, no, I, I don't know. I don't. I'm think just. I'm just. Know. Just. I, yeah, I don't give, think they to, are. I think, because, and and I, I I took the time to say that just just to show that's the kind of stuff that you you learn. Because sometimes people will look up to us or look up to anybody that's in a leadership position and think like, oh, they they got it all together, or they just uh, you. It's like, well, what got them there? I take I've taken notes for the past for almost my whole life. I got addicted to taking notes and study, and then going back and studying. Then you can't just take them and never look mm -hmm. at them again. Mm -hmm. And so the studiousness that's something that I'm able to to. It's like I could yeah I can talk about it, but it's different when you're working with me and you see it. Yeah. You see what the, like the stuff I'm talking about. I'm doing that stuff. I'm. I'm reading books all the time. I'm watching documentaries. I'm Spira, Spira was around me was around me for two or three years hardcore, like in my house, five yeah. or six in the morning. You know, <laughs> like, like you know, I, you know, like here's how you saute some vegetables. I mean, just yeah, yeah. I'm I'm like oh, I'm looking over his shoulder every time, you know, and, and it's like. <laughs> I mean, we like, you know, this is kind of like one on one from 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 the ground up. He learned everything from the ground up. Like that, you know what I mean? And, and, and wasn't too proud to ask questions. Of what is this? What is that? Vic, you know, he, I, I turned him on to Vic. Vic called me and said, man, this dude. <laughs> this dude. So this dude giving me headaches, man. Like, <laughs> but 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 like we say, every ten years. Now it's every twenty years. So I mean, you know, we we and we we make them statements, and and me and Spirit know what what that means about every ten years, every twenty years. But we 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 truly have gotten that down to 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 the meaning of. A, a true practitioner that's never going back that i mean like somebody who this thing i mean you see what happened when i talked to spear and um brother ryan at a at a jam session you see this is this is the results right this is the results what you've seen over over the last you know, years, the Eric days and this and the books and the, you know, the lectures and the coaching and all of this is over one conversation. Some people catch fire. Some people just like to be, you know, well, I'm doing this and it's kind of, you know, sitting at the, at the cool uh the cool uh teenagers table with, in the lunchroom type of vibe mm. you did that's what i've i've been you know watching because yeah it's like how you know how how hard are you working well i mean you know in, in, I, I, yeah how hard are, my thing is you know for me i'm i'm just not going to be that social boy that you know that um that gracious to people <laughs> anymore i'm just i mean now it's just you know i might not even speak to you <laughs> you know i mean i'm i'm getting like you know well, because i'm telling you y'all y'all cats y'all don't even hang out with folks who who, who eat who eat meat right I mean, you know, and and for for a long, and I I I've, I've done that, you know. I mean, I've 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 
transition to that, but I was around so many people. My social thing was different than Spears and <laughs> Records. And so, I mean, I was just around. So now I done, you know, I, I literally had people that don't really know what happened. <laughs> They, I mean, they, I mean, you know, I mean, when I just cut them, you know, cut them yeah. loose, you know, and it's like, and all for, you know, get getting getting rid of carnivores in your life. I'm I'm sorry to say that because I know we have some family members, and, you know, but it it kind of warrants that kind of. Uh, that kind of mentality of uh, because you know it's like with them carnivores, man. That left hook is vicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it can be it can be devastating. And uh, and, it, and it's I mean to me it just made sense that you what they always say you know you take on the characteristics of the people you're hanging out with to be hanging out with people that's doing what I'm wanting to do. Well, there, there it is. I mean, that's, you I mean, know, I thought that it wasn't a lot sense. of us. It wasn't, it wasn't a lot. lot. No, no. It wasn't a lot but, of us. I mean, but we had a little something, you know, we had a little something and we were content with um, sitting around the, 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 the delivery room videos. You go right, and check right. them out if you I mean that was our <laughs> attempt of, of. Uh, and, and so. So, so I think what would be helpful if I if I tell a little bit of my story just from the early days, like the but behind the scenes, even from what they saw, and and how I came to get under that that tutelage, like how I became yeah, yeah. Uh, a ment a mentee or you know yeah, yeah, became yeah, an yeah, apprentice yeah, 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 or yeah, whatever yeah. term you want to use. So yeah. basically, so one thing that I noticed is I've always studied groups of people and cultures and social interactions and social dynamics. Uh, and I noticed, I could tell from Brother Air's personality early on that it's very hard to get his respect. And there's pretty much one way that you get his respect, and that's from practicing the mucus's diet healing system for a period of time. And so there, there was a period of time early on where with, with that understanding, I was like, okay, I'm on my own for a few months. Like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try my best to do this, just, just do as much as I can by myself. And then when, when I, when I can't I anymore, it's funny. I, 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 will, I will give it my all. Not the end. <laughs> you already know the story, that story. So, so and, and that's what and that happened uh, yeah. where and I, I I tell a different story in the in the webinar, but this is the, the real the real good story is. So I was so I was like really trying to get into the diet, and I'm like you know, because what a lot of people do is seek validation. That's like yeah. the, the catchphrase yeah. of, the, of these days, validation. And that's important. And, that's important. I think to to, to be validated because that that motivates you to. Yeah, but there's a there's a way like you can't that can't be your only thing. And with a lot of people and, and if that and if, if that's going to be your inspiration, like if you reach out to somebody that you respect and you don't get the validation that you want, if that shuts you down and, and th then you weren't meant to do whatever that was, because you're supposed to persevere through that to the point where you you start doing whatever it is you're doing on such a level where they have to give respect. They have to take notice and be like, like, okay. And so what I did, I just kind of put my head down like, man, I'm, I'm going to do this thing and I'm learning how to juice and I'm, I'm accumulating all kinds of fruit yeah, yeah, in yeah. my room and I'm trying to figure out how to do enemas. But the story is I went down and I was going to, I was trying to figure out how to do the enemas in, in the mucus diet book. Eric talks about an option to uh, the bulb enema and then the, the, the bigger enema. So I just kind of was like, okay. So I kind of looked it up and I'm like, all right, I found a bulb enema and I went and I tried, I tried to do it. And I'm like, I don't think I'm doing this right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think this is. So I, I called, I was in the bathroom and I called brother air up. I had his number and I hadn't talked to him in weeks. 
So this is just out the blue. I call him up and I'm like, I'm like, hey man, I'm I'm trying to figure out how to do this anima thing. And I and and you're like, well, what what's going on? And I was like, well, I, I don't know. I got this little, it's like the little bulb, and I'm trying. He and you, <laughs> you were just like, no, 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 no. You need to. Wait, get that a was first time that I laughed for like five minutes. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh, you just, just laughed for like. <laughs> He laughed for a long time, and he's like, like "Call people to the phone." Like, yeah, he's like, "Bro, we need to, we need to get you hooked up." And so then he uh, he told me about Mulaney's. He's like, "Man, you need yes, to go, yeah. go to Mulaney's, get you, uh, which is a yeah. medical it was an old medical supply oh, store. Medical like, get you a store, bag, yeah. get you the, the you know the two liter anima bag." And Mulaney's, uh, man, you going? Yeah, back. but I'm taking it back, <laughs> Mulaney. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which I think is still, I think it's they, still there. They, it's, still it's okay. in a different location, but I, I've passed it. It's like is in, it? um, it's, it's over, a, it's it by Ken, uh, uh, the Kenwood Mall area. Oh, like really? it's over there, uh, my, Montgomery. I think it's in Montgomery. Oh, okay. Um, because I actually think I, yeah, I went, think I went there when I was uh, over. Oh, last I think year. they did some construction on that corner, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's in a totally different building than back okay. in the day, okay. but. So, so that was like the first call then. So I, the, even then days later, okay, I got the enema bag and, and then I call again as I'm doing another, trying to do another enema, like, okay, now what am I, you know, I'm, I'm, I lay down this way and, you know, you kind of direct me through that. And then, it, and I'm like, the, okay, thanks. Click. And then I do, <laughs> do the enema. And now mind you, I'm in a public bathroom. I'm in that locks, but I'm in the dorm bathroom at, uh, yeah. Calhoun Hall, yeah, yeah. University of Cincinnati, yeah. and so so just think like think about like th- this is this is what I I push myself through. I push myself through people wondering what the hell is this guy doing for thirty minutes or forty minutes in a in a bathroom. Every time I did an enema, there was a knock at the door. Every time I and I'm I'm laying down there doing an enema and there. You know, and I'm in here. I did that every every day for for years, for for two, yeah. two years. Would you do that? Yeah. Would you be if it meant that you could add 10, 15, 20 years to your life? Could you put up with the knock at the at the door because you because all you have access to is a public bathroom to do your enemas every day? Yeah. And if you don't. Who could you get around with that kind of attitude so that some of that attitude will rub off on you? Yeah. So would that make sense? To, would, you, would you want to put yourself around the people that have that type of attitude? Because that, that, we can put information in a book. It's not as easy to put attitude in a book. Right. In the written, like that doesn't transfer. And that's why, you know, and I know people read Spirit Speaks, and then they hear and they hear me talking, and they're just oh, that sounds it's, it's like the same person but two different universes. And it's like, yeah, it's different forms of expression, and they're good for different things. But in terms of that transfer, and there's old when we're talking about the ancient traditions of the apprenticeship systems that of all around the world, there uh, uh, some of them that that was kind of the old. The, the the original guru concepts was if you went and you you had to go be in person on purpose because there was a transfer of energy that yeah. would take place and uh and just being around the uh, the the, the and a lot of would things, transfer something to you and, and a lot of things was only said once mm-hmm. that was key about being a great listener they wasn't going to repeat anything Right. If you miss something, you know that was, you know, you 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 would say you miss miss something, you miss miss some violent, I mean, violent information that could be, you know, something that goes with something else he said that or she said. So you know that. Yeah, you I, yeah you had to show up present. You know, and they say yeah. pre- pre- present, pre- you, present, 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 and clear, and clear, yeah. And and, and 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 as a receiver, to receive, you did, and so and, and just having the humility to to humble yourself to learn, 
and to uh, to to want to be someone who 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 uh, who's receiving. Right. No, no ego, no none of none of that foolishness. Just you know. And that's well, yeah, and that's that's a that's a big piece there where you just said the yeah ego because I'm seeing that that's like a huge problem with big problem. younger younger generation. It's big like ha- having having this older ego. generation too. Yeah, I see a lot of the older yeah. older people. They still got too much ego, but it, it, it because that's where the fear comes in. They they're afraid of letting go of those things that they think they've worked years to establish which is something that if they let something if they let it go they would have some epic results don't you don't you see how many of the older practitioners don't have epic results ever Mm. because they're still holding on to 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 all of this uh all of this this foolishness um things got to make sense and a lot of this stuff don't make sense that they still hold on to you know but that's that age and that's that ego and, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, and I'm more concerned. I mean, yeah, you're right. The, the older you have to but... re- you have to relearn yourself, and relearning yourself is you 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 wipe yourself. I went. I mean, look. If you want to get to the real deal, I got to a point where I had relearned myself to the point where my mind was blank. I couldn't even spell. I mean, I I I I forgot everything. I mean, literally. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I I I he got. Did, he went through the the the, the, mem- the memory wipe. Yeah, the, he, he a, the memory wipe, which is a uh, yeah. <laughs> just, I mean, like, if I'm gonna be into this and do do this this this, you know, do this thing seriously, because. I've always kept my eye on radioactivity, on that that is the sun and the moon and everything in between. That's who we are. Those are the kind of beings that we're so far away from the kind of beings that we should be. Mm. That's what I don't think if people aren't reading that book and getting that, and that's what I'm saying. Are they reading the same book I'm reading? You did? Yeah, but it's it's but that's different. It's it's a different book depending on who you are. Well, <laughs> you ever, I'm just who, I'm, you I'm, know, I'm, it's a different book. Who's I'm, reading it? Well, I'm well, I'm I'm saying that clean blood and 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 check this out. Breath is the main priority of our existence and the priority of breath should be everybody's priority but why is it why is it not why can they why can others think that there are more important things to think about than their breath every day oh i got this job oh I, uh, there's, oh, the kids are doing the, oh, the, you, you see what I'm saying? They can think of so, oh, I got to do this. I got to, I, I, I have to, you know. And so when you don't have the priority straight, the breath, sun, if you, if you have that kind of sun access, breath is 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 that's all we that's that's all we should be talking about now is breath that's that's the only conversation we should be having is about breath how giving thanks that should be it oh we it's more things in life no it's not no it's not 
for some reason we have made others think this internet and hip little social activities and things that we we made we made that priority. We've made those things priority where breath is everything. Yeah. It's everything. If yeah. you don't have that, it's a wrap. If you don't have breath, it's a wrap. That's the end of your social. That's the end, end of your whatever, whatever else you 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 deemed as, as a priority out there to be chasing. I'm chasing this. I'm trying to be a I'm multicultural. Um, yeah, you know, just all the, the, the whole cultural uh artists and the just oh we're not then they're not talking about nothing. There's no artists out there that I'm interested in. I've seen this video come across um, my YouTube feed. And they were like, you know, Jay-Z was walking through <laughs> through this little crowd and people. I was like, this, this dude is, 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 is just, I mean, like, to assign value to this guy, is 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 kind of a um a signal to the vitality of the community mm. like this is this is who you plugging into this is who you think is i mean like this dude couldn't couldn't get on the bandstand with some real musicians mm. he just you know what i mean he, what are you gonna do up there I mean, you know, I mean, but what, what, he, but, but brother air, he has money. Well, I mean, but, but that's, that's that material mythology that has been tricking us. See, it's like, I gotta, oh, I got the, you know, I get that from so many people. Oh, you talk about having bosses, brother air, and you gotta take kid Look, that's the re the reason why you have a boss because you a slave. Mm, mm. That's the reason why mm. you have a boss. Because mm. you a slave. Free man, that's what dealing with your breath is the freedom to breathe. Mm. That's what this is about. The freedom to breathe with, with no obstruction. No mm. impediments. The freedom, the freedom to breathe. So this, 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 this mythology, this material mythology that we've bought into, is 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 why we can't get into the mucusless diet and understand that radioactivity is 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 keeping your eyes on the prize we posed to be an energy that 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 that's 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 like um an, an energy that's all encompassing all of the energy of the universe we don't pose to be dying We done been taught that death is natural. You see what I'm saying? How, how we have to relearn ourselves and putting ourselves <laughs> back the, together and from, being from very up. Mm -hmm. and being very serious about how we're gonna do this. Well, brother, Harry, you 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 might not. Well, I might not. But somebody see we the information is here. The information is here. The mechanics, the blueprint is here. Arnold Eric tapped in on rediscovering. So now you got to be clear, clean enough to get this information. It didn't have no, this don't have no race title on it. The truth is the truth. But you know, I'm not calling yourself practitioners. I'm oh, I'm a practitioner. Yeah, well, okay. So what? You got a book? 
What you gonna do with it? You know, I want to hear stories when you cut yourself and all of a sudden it clot and turns the color of rust. That's the stories I want to hear. Now we know you're doing work. <laughs> now, 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 now we know you're doing some work when we start hearing those stories. Right. <clears throat> See? You women, man, stop acting like whores. Stop. Y'all are better than this. Y'all are everything. Y'all are the plug in. But no, y'all, y'all, y'all addicted the dick. See? Oh, it's just so oh, I hang out. I'ma turn up. I'ma turn up. I'ma oh, I'ma. What about some breath? What about loving some breath? What about jumping up and down on some breath? See? I'm well, talking about some priorities now. I'm talking man, about getting and, yourself together, cleaning yourself up. Well, you are you, not some filthy little, 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 little nasty um, American. So yeah, so so then so you so you go for the women, then I'm gonna go for the for the bras. All right, acting like little little boys that are exceedingly filthy and allowing your masculinity to just be stripped right away a yeah. ma emasculated on a daily basis fear fear just straight fear to losing, control, their own, losing your your, 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 their center their and your emotional you know you know get getting emotional and um, i'm i'm just i'm just a sensitive i'm sensitive i'm a sensitive man and it's like bruh this they 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 got you they got you because this this is about work this is about getting the manimas together go go yeah go 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 to the gym but don't just stop there they, they, there's too many guys that's all they well i went to the gym it's like well did you do your enema like, well, i'm not look putting anything me. in my butt look at, me. Look at all know. my muscles look at all my muscles yeah yeah look at all that you know and then yeah. you know th 34 stroke <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's I, like, I yeah, take, yeah, I was, ooh, I, I was perfect. Say, I can take turn, I can take my turn holding up the universe, you know, <laughs> the picture of the strong man holding up. That's, that's what they think it is, man. Yeah, like, they, well, they because they have, you know, the, the, there's the, the catch terms, toxic masculinity, you know, it's yeah, like, yeah. that's pus and mucus based idiocy. Yes. Is what that is. Yes, and, yes. You know, re real masculine and real feminine energy can transform the universe it is the universe but you ain't gonna get there with you know trying to be uh uh you know i'm 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 the terminator guy and then and and that's and it's a leadership thing is kind of what i'm getting to there because so you you going after the women i'm saying the if, if the men are going to be leaders and that masculine energy is going to have any kind of leadership attribute to direct because right now what well, it's doing well, is it's it's leading women to the well, to the, but, the real housewives of whatever <laughs> hell city they want to talk that, about but that, but, but, the, but, wait, hold but, on a second i'm gonna get this out because it because this is the de the real degeneracy there you want to talk about the women all the, the plastic surgery caked on makeup <laughs> and all the, the the butt implants and the boob this and that and this you know and, and all this kind of stuff and that has become considered to be normal and rational and acceptable and, and they're looking but for why real are the men. i mean because if the, if the, <laughs> if the man wasn't into it the, i don't think the women would do it there's still a leadership <laughs> dynamic and that's and it's a a, a foul and then and, and they're looking and they're looking for real men <laughs> <laughs> yeah real yeah real real housewives <laughs> you know yeah looking looking for real but everything you know, real, on them is fake real, real, real everything on them is fake but they but they demand they looking for real men it's like damn okay but but the thing is is that what you're talking about is little boys 
and that's the status that we're on and 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 on this on this face of face of the earth little boys seldom do men show up men have clean blood see those are men right men concentrate on breath those are men so do we run into them every day hell no I mean, look at so just just to, so because where's the representation? We we don't see no there ain't oh. no sisters with locks here. I don't see no I don't see no natural natural locks ever on media. Yeah, that's, 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 that's that's not allowed. That's be, zombie. That's zombieism. Shown. That's zombieism de jour right there. That's just zombieism. I mean, this is this is what we what I mean, we deal what with. People, you know, young men and women are looking at this. Is prime time television? It's eight o'clock on the regular, you know, on the networks or whatever, nine o'clock, whatever time this is. And so this is being broadcast out where young children are seeing this nonsense and this mess, you know, instead of but that's the know, love. That's putting the love. in uh, yeah. you know, I, eyes on the prize documentary. They watching real housewives, no. eight, no. eight year old, little eight year old girls and, yeah. and boys yeah. got this. That's uh, the love. That's, going that's on. The, that's the love that our little girls show their, they're little girls. See, because we're not talking about women. We're talking about little girls that have women, that have women bodies, but they're little girls. And that and, and I mean you're talking 30s, 40s, 50s, little girl mentality. And that's the thing. Yeah, men mentality, the mindset is all uh, it's a, arrested that show arrested development you know arrested mm -hmm. everybody it's 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 like folks get to the age between seven and 12 and and they might be in their 50s or 60s but they got a an education level and a mindset level of a seven year old or a 12 year old a value system of of a 13 year old and people wonder why you know why <laughs> why are why are things so th so bad? You know, where every and everybody just rolls well, over and mucus and pus. You know, pus is the, you know is I the can't wait. You know, because I wonder if you know, you know how, how many <laughs> is there anybody here that hasn't had the shot? <laughs> okay, I can't talk too much about well, it, or we'll get this video taken off, like yeah. all my other videos where I talk about that. But it's it's a mentality, and it's just such a the the degeneracy of what when you understand what we're talking about when you start to see what the power of pus and mucus forming foods to hypnotize and degenerate a human being is unparalleled i mean it's, just, and, it's and, remarkable. And, the, and the recreation of man and woman relationship of passing parasites that's all that mm. comes that, that, uh, that's all that comes from those relationships, those physical relationships, passing the parasites, crazy, you know, and then parasites drive people crazy, you know, men, you know, with uh, high body counts, women with high body counts spend half their lives on their back, and they're talking about, yo, I'm detoxing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, you ain't detoxing all that, that kind of life. Uh, uh. I'm detoxing though. So we just have, you know, like I say, when 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 we get off of the the priority of breath, then everything else goes awry. I mean, just we're not concentrating on that. That 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 is <clears throat> what we should be focusing on: breath, no impediments, mm -hmm. no obstructions, and, and and watch what kind of life you have then—a real life, not this little made-up, uh, stay so constipated, laugh your way to to fun. You know, do do I mean, and, and this is the kind of analysis I try to encourage people to do where you start to break this stuff down 
and look at the stimulation cycle. Yeah. Just look, the average person, they get up. First thing they do, they get some some bean soup coffee. Oh, caffeine. Man. They get they get high with the caffeine, you know, and then a lot of some folks go smoke up the wake and bake. Uh, you know, they get to go get the wake and bake going, or somebody go smoke a cigarette or something. Some people wake up and go and drink some alcohol immediately well, first thing in the morning. I I had a um you know the dispensary that our our reverend friend <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I heard today. I heard it folded. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. okay. So somebody else is taking it over. Okay. Right. Okay. So yeah. the person who was telling me about was was a partner, and they were, you know, they were, you know, they were telling me, you know, like, well, you know, you have something against like the whole, you know, marijuana. Uh, dispensary business. I said I don't know anything about it. I said I just know what I hear, and and since our my my partner was a part of it, I mean I I just kind of listened to what he was talking about, and so he's like, yeah, I got a problem with it. Stop getting high. Well, well, the thing, <laughs> the thing was the thing was she was rationalizing why it was a good thing as far as um, what it what it how it helps the community the people were uh you know helping uh people with pain my thing was what started the pain mm. see they can't get to that no they can just get yeah. to you know the money how they make money on selling the marijuana for some elder to sit in a nursing home and get zonked yeah, out, yeah. out of their head and and they're not in pain anymore but what about you know? Stop feeding them the the devil eggs and the you know and all of all of that, and then the pain would you know. So it, it was just like she was so. After I stood there and talked to her, I just seen you know, the, the, another zombie bites the dust. Mm -hmm. I mean, she she was you know, and so you know, I was, we, we're we're getting ready to leave town, right? Mm. And. Somebody said, well, wherever you go, there's gonna be folks that you well, my 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 answer to that is I just need some new zombies. I need to see some new zombies. <laughs> that, that's my answer to it. I just need to see some new zombies. Um you know, this place where I'm at, and I'll I'll name it, you know, we're in I'm in Cincinnati, man, and this is the 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 worst the, the worst city on the planet. <laughs> yeah. The people are just incredibly lame. Uh the, the the city has nothing to offer in terms of elevating the human spirit. The artists are a bunch of phonies and and you know the the, the, the creative community is not creative. It's they they bought into that multicultural bull crap, and um, so you know I won't miss nobody here. So I mean you know, uh, good riddance, man. It's like let 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 uh, let me see, let the dead bury the dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what you that's what you get in here, man. So if if you have some vacation destinations, mark off Cincinnati. Don't <laughs> yeah don't, yeah. Pass don't even, try to, do, yeah, don't even yeah. try to do a layover here. Yeah, you, drive right <laughs> through, but yeah, drive drive on through. But yeah. what what was funny? Sometime way way in the future, that somebody they'll they'll do a tour. They'll be like, you know, somebody will take them. This is Milton Street. This is where Professor Spear was, lived. You know, they, they, well, you know the I mean, it, 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 tour. I mean. they go by your house. And like, <laughs> and the, in the year to 2023, uh, Brother Air yeah. <laughs> was about to blow this house up. It was so frustrated. And, and he uh, he finally yeah. moved and, and, uh, and they rehabbed it. And, yeah, man. You know, I mean, so, it's. I mean, so I mean that that'll be the history. That'll be the history of of, of Cincinnati as far as something good coming yeah, out the, of the, the, yeah. I mean, because that's the story. The yeah, 
in the most unlikely city in the country, the mucus of diet healing system took hold and Cincinnati. grew out of there. Yeah, I mean, you, like yeah. I said, we, we don't know if it modern, could have really happened in modern, any other city. The, the, the modern, the modern uh, discovery of the mucus of diet healing system uh, caught fire here in Cincinnati due to Victor Butcher. He was he was the one that, that I mean he was just way ahead of his time I mean just way and and unapologetic I mean this right. dude was just just a, a, a serious serious being boy I, I wish I just wish the the serious practitioners could have met him and hung out with him you know and and um, uh, you remember when uh the 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 Brestitarian came to to Eric Day and 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 how they were, how people were sitting around him because they wanted to ask. Him. I wish that could have happened with Vic, mm, you know. Yeah, if, yeah. Mm. if we could have just had that kind of little circle and Vic would have been there, would have been a whole different conversation. That conversation would have still been going on because mm -hmm. yeah, Vic, yeah right. Vic can take you into to the to the to, to some other places, man that will make you really think and rediscover science in, 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 in ways that you didn't know science extended. Like right. new, new sciences, <laughs> you'd be like, you'd be like, what? You'd be like, you know, so, I, you know, so that's, that's what that, that's what that was about. And you talking about somebody who 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 sat at his feet and memory had a lot to do with it and talking to him i mean boy just to to, to have a phone call with him was just uh more than a notion because yeah, you, had, yeah. you had to get through through the craziness <laughs> you know <laughs> to get right. to him yeah yeah, you know, so, um, but man, you know, uh, there would there would be, I mean, it was nothing unusual for me to talk to him around ten o'clock and stay on the phone at five in the morning. That was just normal. I mean, you know, once a week, at you know, and and that goes along with the two or three hour, the other day, you know. <laughs> You know, and um, uh, yeah. So, so yeah, man. I mean, it, it's you know, fear and constipation, and you know what 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 constipation can do. People don't know the the, the many faces of constipation. Right. You dig? They don't. They don't really realize the many faces of constipation. How it takes form. You dig? So I'm. I'm gonna share. Uh, this. <clears throat> this will be for the, the the hardcore. You know. So they. So cats know who we who we talking about. So you talking mm -hmm. about Vic. Mm -hmm. Victor Buttram. So Victor Buttram is who introduced the mucus's diet to to uh, Brother Air. And uh, there's a again, it's a pick pick of him. Oh, it's so small. I can't. Well, it might be my computer. Yeah, I mean it's probably a little a little bigger on the thing, but. Oh, okay. But yeah, so so that was so to go back to the what we was talking about with the the uh, appr apprenticeship, you know, that was kind of part of my journey where all right, once I started kind of getting in and I got was getting serious, I was hanging over brother Air's house and he and and I just remember like we were starting to get into talking about some topics and it's some stuff that's kind of going over my head, but I'm trying to hang and uh and and, at a, and I might have asked some question, and Brother Air's like, hold on a second. And he picks up the phone, 
and he and he calls Vic up, and then he and then he's like, here, you know, and he hands the, he hands the phone, and it's just like, okay, this is my I'm meeting Vic over the phone, and uh, and and then Vic just starts talking about whatever whatever we were talking about. He kind of gets into his thing, and I could tell immediately, like, oh, okay, this is this this is a, like a sage. This is the part of the journey where you you get introduced to you know there there's the the different different levels of mentors and different types of mentors that you get and this is the hero's journey for anybody that has read a few books and studied knows i'm talking about the hero's journey joseph campbell and And this concept but this is study this and apply this to your life that's what that's for that's what mythology is for that's what storytelling is for is to learn from it and apply it because they're archetypes that re- relate to our life. And that's the kind of stuff me and Vic would talk about. I learned about Joseph Campbell from Vic. Mm-hmm. You know, I learned about the hero's journey from Vic. I didn't learn about it from Star Wars. I learned about it from Vic. You know, I learned about all of these, these concepts, pre-Socratic philosophy, uh, uh, ways to analyze Plato and Aristotle and yeah. in the in the history of, you know, the Library that of is, Alexandria is, and Stolen Legacy. And, I mean, that I can go on and on philosophy. and on. He said, "He said, man, you know, you know why you should study Greek philosophy." He said, "Because all the Egyptian philosophy got burnt up in Alexandria." He said, "And the, and the Greeks were studying with the Egyptians, so they had it." <laughs> I was yeah, like, oh. and I and, like, and, and, and what puts it all together? Then yeah. you, and and you start to see like when you and you have to be around people that have studied like this and get has gotten into this where there's little you can find the little threads and and i put some of that in some place like spirit speaks but if you really want to get it uh then you would have to because then there's the the pythagoras so it's not a it's not a mistake that arnold Eret he didn't go into detail and great depth but he made the statement and pointed out like well pythagoras went over studied the egyptian mystery system where he had to fast for 40 days before he could get into the the training what kind of apprenticeship before is that i mean start. before, you before can he start. can even start what what type of apprenticeship system is it when you have to do a 40-day dry fast before you can even get into the program man are you are you signing up for that yeah, you know, no, you, no. You, what are you but 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 what if what if you could if it was a program that would teach you how to walk on water would would you try what would, would that be something if it was a program that could teach you how to live for 500 years or a thousand years if it was a program that could teach you how to use your mind to to part a river or a sea would the that be valuable telepathy enough telepathy to you to, to do a, a 40 day fast to get into a program that would teach yeah. you how to do that could that 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 could teach you to telepathically communicate to telepathically communicate you know omni omnipresence to 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 telepathically communicate to multitudes of people at the same time yes you know now we're you know that the god with the godlike beings training but, but <laughs> that's what that's what the practice of the mucusless diet is an introductory to to that world right so so and that's I mean, and it's what people don't understand yeah, well well they understand because that they, they don't get go far enough to get us even talking about that because i usually don't talk yeah, about yeah, neither yeah. of us usually talk yeah. about this stuff yeah 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 because yeah. we're you know in general we're not gonna one you know the what they say the uh cast their pearls among the swine you know that's right that's, right, that's, right 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 that's right classic right. uh you know when you get into the, the and, and, then, and then another thing too which you used to say all the time man is they don't respect it unless they got paid for it true so there's levels of of this stuff that we know and we talk amongst ourselves this is the core myself spirit that we don't even get into talking to to, to just the general public um you know so um and that's not like a, a, you know, sticking your chest out saying, oh, I got some, the thing is, no. is that it, it, does, it doesn't matter if you won't even, if you won't even do your enemas. <laughs> right. 
you won't even do basic things to just yeah, it's, just it's, clean yeah. yourself up on a on a on a on a basic level. Yeah, no, it's it's not a it's it's not it's, yeah, it's not ego. It's about what we talk about earlier, service. Service. And doing doing service, serving the information, you know, serving humanity, being protectors of the information. You're you know, not protect, a slave. Of, uh, you you're, know, you're not a slave. And I'm and and I just wish that people could understand you're not slaves. Stop acting like slaves. Stop listening to this foolishness. Understand that you have uh, some some uh, tools now that can um, that can free your breath. You, you know, and, and and so, like I say, the sisters, man, clean yourself up, clean it up, because you're ragged. It's raggedy. And and the sisters, you know, they get on the meetup, man. And they like, well, uh, brother, are you so hard on the sisters? Yeah, I'm hard on the sisters. I'm I'm real hard on the sisters because they have influence and can control and could could like Which, say, and, 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 and I'm saying and, and they should and they shouldn't have. If the men were being men, well, they mean, wouldn't. <laughs> Not Stop like now. that. Yeah. Not like what you talking about. If the man, yeah, I, man yeah, man, I, man, I, man, I, I understand that. I'm just talk, in the proper I'm talking, order. I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking about just women controlling. I mean, like I say, the community could change overnight if the women had respect and and discipline and get out of this Walt Disney romantic bullshit type of life that they want to lead you know i'm just so smitten oh he's so cute no oh, you know all that old foolishness and um and get to some real you know get to some real some real man choosing like you know you gotta you know, have I'm saying there's no where, where are they, even if they did that yeah but no i mean it's like it's, it's hard i mean yeah it, it's it's very hard so, so what i'm saying so my message are cleansing. Are, the brothers yeah, who are cleansing you there there is very hard to find the brothers who are cleansing and who are serious yes it's very hard we're trying to help that situation by and so the information out here by trying to get to and what and what i'll say to the <laughs> to the man is stop being soft oh man stop soft. being soft up like ice cream i you mean, know like died soft like diarrhea <laughs> I mean, these guys, you know it's like it's come on squishy, man you know squishy like sherman the the tissue <laughs> yeah yeah it's great you know i mean but you know men men don't have any um any kind of uh you know role models man like because, i said yeah, because it's because hard they don't, they don't and when i say hard i'm saying study like you said role models you know i'm not talking about hard like liver king or what or you know or what, or what whoever <laughs> Well, whatever big muscular Terminator guy is, that's not masculinity. You know, that's that's insecurity is what that is. That's that that's part of the problem. That that that's not what people say. Oh, it's masculine. No, that's not. That's insecurity. That's fear. That's I'm. Oh, I'm. Look at me. I'm. Girl, that's I'm just, that's you know. a big part of it too. With you know the fear, the fear part, and I'm I'm like real big on that part of it. You know the fear is is the brothers are scared man the brothers are are shaking and they and they go for the head fake with the material mythology they buy they buy into that and um and that kind of uh they, the they, pri they, yeah i mean the priorities are all messed up so oh, yeah of, yeah you know it, it's like breath is not a priority well breath yeah is breath is not a, not a yeah breath is not a you know but that, yeah that breath is not a priority but just getting yourself together period like first you know like because we're we're oriented to as soon as you're 15 years old boy you better be trying to find every little piece of of uh booty as you can you know it's like oh you 15 let's go 
Like, like, hurry up. Like, yeah. rack up the numbers. 10, 20, let's, come on, go. Get your mouthpiece together. Get out there. You know, go do your thing. And people dedicate so much of their energy and their life because they can say there is there's not a lot of leadership leading all, all of the, the, the Jay-Z. If they listen to the, the Jay-Z's uh-huh. and the Kanye's, that's 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 leading them down that path. Yeah, yeah go, go, yeah, that's, that's money so mold. You know, go, go so you know, that kind of thing as opposed to get get educated. Educate yourself with the elders. You know, go be an apprentice. Find an elder and, oh, and work up under them. They don't know you nothing get, about you know, finding read, read an elder. Books. That's, I was, you know. And they don't know anything about finding elders and, and sitting up under them and, and asking them questions. And, and um, you know, they think, they think they're hip. They think they got it all on their phone. You know, the Google truth. Mm. It's the Google truth. You know, be telling me nothing. I Google it. I know everything because Google says so. So you know, I mean, it's um, it's rough, man. It's rough to get over this kind of information to brothers and sisters, and and make it like like vital that they do they due diligence to discipline themselves to control what they're putting in their mouths what they're putting in their ear. That's another thing. Let's talk about sounds and music. Okay. And, 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 and and you know, I know black people, I'm talking about black folks now that don't know who John Coltrane is. That, I mean, I mean, we talking about a, a part of 20th century and 21st century that they have no clue about. They missed a big part of that, you know, and, and but they, but they're hip. They, they listen to this, to this, I, I can't even, I'm not even going to call it music that's this, this coming off of the airways now. I mean, that. Yeah, I mean. It's, whatever that whatever that is, they, they, they listen to the sounds and, and they think that it, it, it and they're wondering why no, they can't. It's, it's they low, low vibration. Thoughts. Well, they, they yeah, wonder they why, they can't have, <laughs> why they can't have heavy thoughts. Slave man. music is what that yeah, is. Yeah, that's all. Slave, that's it's slave vibration. Slave, like, yeah. yeah. It yeah. keeps the mentality there. That yeah, just it keeps it on that slave yeah. level. Level, yeah. So that because yeah. as long as if you just work it, it's it's you know don't go study, don't read a bunch of books, don't f- focus on your breath, don't release, don't worry about you know it's just just you know money, money, sex, hoes. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Focus yeah. on that. Just because and, and that's, and that's as long why, as they got and that's the why, young bro, everybody focusing on that. And trying to keep up with the Kardashians and the Joneses and the Real Housewives and the Dub well, Babies and the middle class, talking about the class. We're talking about all the these people. Class. Talk talk about the middle class normality. Wow. The crazy I mean, middle what? class normality of people who really think they had they got it together. They're doing the right. Oh, my child goes to to Dartmouth and and and, and he's. I mean, this look. When you're talking about your breath, there ain't nothing else to talk about. Dartmouth or any, you know, I mean, I'm see, my thing is this. If education was supposed to be such a a, 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 a thing for especially for black folks, or we need education. But we getting it. Look what we getting. Look at the education we getting. You see, so I'm I'm just saying. Once again, we went for the head fake, you know. And and and, uh, and and like I say, you can't talk about your oppressor when you live and eat just like them, mm-hmm. think think just like them, live just like them, aspire just like them. Right. And earlier, I put I'm a, I'm gonna put this. <laughs> Put this back up. So this is from. So this doesn't. It doesn't go deep. This is just. This is from one of my lectures from uh, Introduction to Jazz that I had taught a few years ago. This is the, the African legacy talking about African music. But what's important for discussion today is as we talk about the concept of being an apprentice 
and aspiring to want to be an apprentice. Yes. What's happening when we get back to the, the coaching for dummies, people are wanting to be and aspire to be coaches way before they aspire to be apprentices. And they, there, there's, not a, there's not a concept of mastery. There's not a desire to master one's craft at the well, highest levels. Well, they, they want to be, they want to be all of that, which, you know, of the above that you just said, but they don't want to be rational people first. They, you know, it's like they got all these ideas. This is all in their head. The bottom line is you haven't, you haven't taken your body through anything. But you know everything. You know, I can do this. I can. Well, I, I mean, you know, I, can, I can. I yeah. can. I can tell people. I can tell people what I read in the Mucus's Diet book. I can. I, I got a good memory. I can remember. So, but my my point is, make making it making an effort and making it be a value to connect with the people that's doing it. So, cause I don't put it, I don't put it on people as much as you kind of expect people sometimes to just read the book and get it. I don't, I say, I, I expect people to read the book no, and then, I don't, you know, I don't. try to give us, a, I know you know, I mean, get, the book. get it, get involved with it. The, well, you know, but you say that sometimes where you just like read the book. It's like, nah, connect with the people. Well, you gotta read it. the book. You gotta read but you the gotta, book. But you gotta make, make, but make an effort. The point I'm trying to make is people are not making that effort to, to, to connect. Cause it's, it's gonna, you gotta do more than a, like, you know, an email. That's not gonna do it in 2023, sending an email or doing it. And you know, what, how do you get, and this, and this goes across the board. This just isn't mucus free. I'm, this is some just general wisdom that goes for any, anything you want to try to get into and accomplish whatever, if you want to become a, a stone smith or a wood carver or whatever you want to master something to be the best in the world at something what do you got to do you got to find a way to connect with the people that with the best. are the, with the best uh, with, people with that with the best people the current masters of whatever that is if you want to be a master musician you better go find a way to hang out with the master musician in, in your discipline. And that's what this is. You know, the, this is the, the oral and oral transmission, the African musical tradition spreading. You know, it was all passed down. And traditionally, a lot of these apprenticeship systems, the apprentice is there for about 10 years and they'll do yeah. menial tasks. When they start, they, they show up at the doorstep and knock on the door and kind of have, you know, have their head down and say, sir, you know, I, you know, I'd love to work with you. I'll do whatever you need if you know, and then it's okay. Then they, they're handed a broom before you're given right. an instrument before you're given the permission to even make a sound musically, yeah, nice. you got to sweep the floor first. Yeah. You know, yeah. you got to sweep the floor first. You might have to take out some, uh, 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 you know, go <laughs> whatever. In, in our case, in our case, make us some juice. <laughs> yeah, make make us some juice. You know, stick clean and sterilize the enema bag. Yeah. You know, it's like there's, but, but, but yeah, it's it's not paint. You know, here here's you know ten thousand dollars. It's not like, like no, come on, this this is gonna be a long term relationship in a in a bond because I'm giving something way more, uh, wor uh that's worth way more than money which is time time and the sharing of the accumulation of information and wisdom that has that that has been imbued that if especially when you find somebody else that has them they they went through the apprenticeship system then that then that becomes a legacy that becomes a tradition that's how these musical traditions it, it, mo a lot of the, the archetypical stories that we have, the music that we have, all the it all stems from this tradition. You, the you oral, gotta, oral tradition, know. the apprenticeship system. And to this day, there's nothing different today. It's but the they, same but they're that not, same thing works. They Still don't work. have they don't have the patience though to, to, to last 10 years. We only know people right now. There's five years three years two years 
We don't know any 10 years. You know? Right. I mean, um, very few. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm talking about people that outside of us, of our little, you know, circle, but those, you know, the younger people that we deal with, you know, they're four years, five years. I think they're going to be around for 10 years. I'm hoping, um, yeah. you know, uh, but, you know, I mean, like I say, you know, I only got one real good feeling about some, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know. You know well, I, too, I, I, got, I got elders who I know they're not going to turn back. You know, because they don't have a choice, you know. So, uh, so I'm in the chat. I'm gonna put so you know, I'm not we're there, I'm not selling nothing today. There's no, you know, there's we're not accepting people to the coaching program, not, nothing like that. We're opening up for people that are interested in working with me, work being a part of the inner circle of mucus free community. We've got a few spots that we're going to put people in for the research and development team that used to be an internship program. I tried the different words and different structures, and I found the research and development team to really work the best. But I, I tend to I choose people that I'm really going to mentor one on one from the research and development team. Like that's it's like we're working there first. That's that's the. The, the work that we do in the research and development team is is the the uh, sweeping the floor, <laughs> you know, like there's the kind of stuff that we get into no there. Part of, I don't want no part of that. I don't want no part of the research. So, uh, so, so I'm anyway, not a part of the research. Yeah, bro, yeah, brother, here's not a he's not a part of the research development team. But you know, we 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 uh, put together yeah. the you know Eric Day celebrations. We there's a bunch of things behind the scenes that that we do, and uh, you know, I'm looking for. You know, just it's it's time to to you know, I want to find the people that are really, really ready to do some work and put put in and, and come together and work together. Because what I don't always get is, yeah. is, is asking like, well, how 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 because there'll be people that are say, well, I want to you know, I want to promote the mucus diet or I want to help coach other people or something It's like. But they didn't ask me. Well, how 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 can I help the movement? Like, what 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 do you think that I can do to best set? Since you've been doing this for twenty years and been building this thing, what do you like? What 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 do you need? Because that's like what I did. You know, if I'm hanging with your know, brother Air and to come, I'm kind of I'm there. Like, well, what's what's needed? Do we we need to we need to drive? We we need to drive up to Columbus. We need to we need to drive to Chicago. We need posters. We need posters made. Yeah, we need posters. Do we need to go get cases of lemons? Yeah, like, we, what you you are uh, you your your car's down? You need yeah. you need me to go get you a case of lemons. Oh, I need, need to, to get to a gig that's out of town. Yeah, you need a gig that's out of town. Like, all right, you know, and so, oh, you you don't got no gas money? Don't worry about it. Jump in. Let's go. You know that that's the attitude of, of of the apprentice of like where you're there and there's a for and for the the you know the entrepreneur crowd that read the book uh, expert secrets from uh, russell brunson there the the story in there that he tells about a guy that really wanted a job at this this clothing store and he had originally went there and they said ah we're, we're not hiring anybody right now so instead of giving up what this guy did was he came in and he said Hey, do, do you mind if you know, I really love folding clothes? It looks like you guys could use some help. Do you mind if I fold some clothes for you guys? And they kind of looked at him with like, what the hell? What's wrong with this guy? But yeah, sure. If you just want to fold some clothes for us. Okay. So he folds some clothes, did a great job. He said, thank you and walked out. And they're sitting there like, what? What's this guy? He came back the next day. Can I fold some clothes? Yeah, he did that for several days. What do you think happened? After four or five days, they, he's like, well, do you want a job? Do you want a job? You know, it's it, so it, it took it. What it, it wasn't doing it the formal way. It wasn't doing it the way that they say you're supposed to get your resume together and you go down and you get an application and you fill it out. And then you and, 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 and you go into the interview and you say, oh, all right, howdy, sir. I am very well qualified for this position. And uh, and I, if you take a look, and I, I, you know, I have a bachelor's from Stanford, and no, this guy just said, okay, they're they're not trying to hire anybody. How can I serve them? 
How can I be of service to them? And he went in and he was of service and he got the job. You know, and so that's that's what I'm looking for. And, and, you know, I mean, like the things that the things that you're describing is things that men do. Mm. That real men that, that don't have any kind of uh uh way that they're thinking about rules. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? <laughs> This is what I, this is how I feel like I want to do this. I'm not following these rules here, you know. I'm, you know, and 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 we 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 kind of think like that, like you know, like learn the rules so we can break the rules. But then sometimes, you know, they might not. I mean, we get off on watching folks be very creative to try to get to us. You know, I mean that 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 that's what I like. You know, just to see folks who who uh, you know might drive seven hundred miles just to hang for one day. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, uh, I mean, right, we, right. we we've had that kind of situation. Mm -hmm. um, uh, things like that. People who go out of their way. If you want something, I mean, that was like, you know, spare myself, man, the things that we want. We, we, we've done things to get to people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was, yeah, like I, I was trying to, I got, I got real close to Paul McCartney, remember when we did the, and I was yeah. going through the, I was going through the fall. Oh, man. <laughs> like I'm out of it. And at the end of the night, I'm, I went in. Uh, I'm hanging out at the at the hotel where he was at, and I'm I'm down there with a with a mucus's diet book, and I gave it to somebody. You know, I gave it to one of his people because I was like, hey, you know, is there a way that I can go talk? Like I'm I'm bold, and you know, that's how bold we were. Yeah. It was like, yeah. when we what what do you 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 go after what you want? Don't be yeah. you know just be quiet and just give up or just think that things are gonna come to you. And, you, and now, you know, like, 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 our our motto is never ask permission. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it just <laughs> we, we if we think it's righteous. I mean, we're not gonna do something that we think is demonstrative or trying to. Hurt. But if we think it's righteous, we don't ask you permission. We just start doing it. We just yeah, set up yeah. and start doing whatever it is that we do. And we'll deal with, I mean, and we, we, we're like masters at dealing with the authorities. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the cops come over or whatever, you know, it's just like, we, yeah. whatever, yeah. you know, and it's it's that it's that type of, but this is an attitude and, and like I said, the service mentality of, because what, what was we trying to do? I, I didn't want nothing from him. There was nothing that where I was like, because most that's yeah. generally when people do that, they want something from, something, yeah, from you know, where they're there. I'm all I want. I'm literally all I'm wanting to do is put this mucus's diet book in this guy's hand. And that's he it. Should, he should be trying to that's buy it. And want something from us. Right. You know, I mean, that's the way I look at them cats, man. It's like, um, I mean, we, 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 you know, uh, Hung out with Dave Chappelle. All those, you know, those folks, they know. They know. Mm -hmm. They know, but you know, it's like fear. You know, fear of losing. Fear, of, you know, you wanna, you know, that, that material mythology is stronger than than freedom of breath, you know. Mm -hmm. they, that, that you know, they 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 can't decipher none of that kind of information because they they so busy getting getting uh, patted on the back. You dig, and so yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they stuck. They stuck, stuck in the, yeah, yeah, stuck in and, that. You know, so I mean, it's 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 cool, man. I mean, it's it, it's it's like we are committed to cleaning our blood. My blood, I have to do what I have to do individually. Clean spirit's blood, spirit has to do what he has to do individually. And I mean, it, it's it's an ongoing thing. But if you want 
to elevate yourself to that being, to that human. I mean, we talk about human being. We're not seeing a lot of human beings. You know, we got to get there. That's that's the that's the ultimate the ultimate elevation is to become a human being. We're zombies right now. I mean, we've been turned into dying dying people. We're dying, man. I mean, so somebody shoot shot every day. When you get when 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 you get to that point where you just start, you know, like the mass shootings, you just start shooting people. I don't know. <laughs> you know, normally you shoot somebody that you know, <laughs> you know, it's done something to you. But this thing got so bad where people just they can't even control themselves. I'm just gonna shoot anybody. I'm just totally, totally out of control. Mucus and pus has just has, has just drowned. They're just drowned in mucus and pus. They can't think. They have no kind of rational understanding of nothing. They just you dig, and so it it is it, it's um, reciprocal. Mm -hmm. Shooter and the victim, mucus and pus. Yeah, yeah, but mucus I mean that's the be the behavior. Like we always talk about the connection of what you putting in your mouth and the kind of behavior that emanates from that. And I uh, wanted to. That's gonna be forensic in 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 in, in some years, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, we, it's gonna happen. They're gonna they're gonna start making that connection, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, we are. And I wanted to read this. This was uh, I was looking this up on apprenticeship. This is on some a African arts. But uh, apprentices are expected to carefully watch the work of their master, but initially their work is menial, sweeping up bringing lunch sharpening tools as the years pass the complexity of an apprentice's tasks increase but following the master's methods and style remain critical in a way the master and his apprentice constitute a brand uh customers uh, <clears throat> customers want work with the master's distinctive stamp and this article is talking kind of style it's some style discussion but i just kind of like that part where and there's another part was just talked about 10 10 years you know that that was a typical yeah. kind of plug in and you had the story about the the tambora yeah the, uh, the, the indian tambora. classical yeah. yeah 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 where he you know we were talking and the guy heard what i was saying and he had been playing drone on stage with ravi shankar and so as he was hearing what we were talking about, he kind of jumped in the conversation and said, you know, hey, I've been, I've been playing for almost 10 years just to drone before I can do anything else. You know, and I was like, and uh, Robbie Shankar just, you know, was sitting there like, you know, this is what you get. And he told me that to, uh, for the knowledge of the universe to fill me up, you had to be empty. Mm. So I've always remembered that. And that has that that's right in alignment with the practice of the mucusless diet healing system. Perfect, perfect alignment. Because yeah. the truth, because the truth is the truth all the time. And the truth fits other truths. That they're not they're not disconnected. You know, for the knowledge of the universe, and you and, and you know, pondering that for over years and years, I understand it even more, mm. because what it's saying is that the truth is inside me already. It's like it's like it's like we don't have to read if if we wasn't as constipated as we were we didn't have to we don't have to read anything or, or get any kind of instructions because the truth is already here truth is inside of but since we're so constipated we have to have written well we have written and then in person 
mentorship help. Yeah, yeah. To really, yeah, yeah. To you know, because of constipation. Right. Our memory is shot. Our memory is shot. You know. And I, I, I hear your, <laughs> I hear your little flute apprentice. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, it's coming through. Uh, yeah, he, he just got home, and I guess he's, I don't know what he's doing. I guess, is he practicing, or is he is he doing a performance? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. like, okay. Yeah. Last, last session, Brett there and Ensemble did, he sounded pretty good. I, mm -hmm. I, he was playing some stuff. You know, I, I I looked at the video again and I was like, oh, okay. You know. But uh, so yeah, and, man. And um, you well, and you brought up it, and that's that the, the principle of uh, the principle of education, which is to bring out that which is already inside. Yes. When the role of an educator is not to try to fill you up with, with, yeah. their, with their thing. It's to help you remove the obstructions yes. from yeah. your body, mind, and yeah. spirit so yes. that the truth comes forth, the truth that's yeah. already inside you. Yes. Yeah. But you have to have courage and you can't be fearful. Right. And that's what happens with so many people. They're so fearful. They, they become a part of the whole uh, discussion and group uh, gathering of, you know, let's sing Kumbaya and let's all be together. And, and you know, it's like we're all, you know, together. And, <laughs> well, and and together a, around a, a dead carcass. Carcass, yeah, yeah, exactly. Eating it. You know, I mean, even, ma even making vegans, a whole ritual out of it. Even the vegans have have, have, have lost their minds on 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 put on on mm -hmm. mucus. They've 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 done exactly what they uh, kind of started to be something that was supposed to be helpful, and it's then turned into something that is real negative and dangerous now. You know, I mean, it's all, and it's going to get worse because. Yeah they're working on the lab grown meat yeah and a lot of vegans are gonna go for that they're going yeah. right down into that they're gonna they're gonna be like no more tofurkey they're gonna throw the tofurkey yeah. away and they're gonna go right to the the the, the lab grown chicken leg mm. you know in the lab grown <laughs> gizzard and 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 it's and all of that is just total lack of any kind of sense any common the sense non-common sense just the artificial assimilation of a vegan baby <laughs> what'd you say <laughs> the artificial assimilation of the well the lab grown vegan baby vegan baby <laughs> yeah, yeah test know. test tube baby i mean it's it's just it's yeah. sickening it's just yeah. ridiculous. This whole the whole thing. But that's what mucus and pus does. It, it, it's like the abnormal has defined what normality is, and that's where we should be at in this culture of of uh, denouncing everything. But like I say, we we fear. We're so down with keeping these companies alive and keeping all these little organizations uh popping and and uh just smile you know that that little fake smile that you have with with, with the when you group up you know you group up and you give give the little little fake smile you know like yeah. and and uh, <laughs> you know so i mean you know what i mean we we can't uh, talk enough about breath. We just can't talk enough about how important uh, breath is, and and uh, and just knowing as much as you can about your breath and 
how to uh, how to preserve it and how to how to use it. Because there's there's a there is a science of breath and a way to use it and and I mean there's there's you know. But we're we're interested in the liver cleanse and all the herbs and the the detoxing and you know we think we're doing big time work you know so I don't know man no love no love I have no love for the brothers and sisters man just you know yeah yeah I mean it's a lot of just just a lot of work to do but you know i'm hoping that stay away from me <laughs> just stay away from me <laughs> like these sisters uh, just, just stay away well no part <laughs> you just you know just y'all do y'all thing you know go find your mr right and uh you know so yeah, man. It's uh, but but you hope that a few people who are listening will be inspired to want to apprentice and learn this this stuff. Um, that it might be something that they can use in their lives and elevate, help elevate. Because every time you know, it's like have from from being turned on to the mucus's diet and practicing the mucus's diet have you elevated the practice damn skippy <laughs> you know we've elevated the practice we've added to, to eric's work we've added to it i have no problem but that's that I mean, when you're sincerely trying, you're not trying to, to to wipe away what he's done or anything like that. You're adding, making it making it even even uh, uh, better and 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 more. You know, it's like you bring you you bringing something to the table, and that's yeah. All I mean, I in in order to do that, you have to have a mastery of the original principles. In a real understanding of those principles, methods, philosophies, and that kind of study, the, the kind of study that it takes to get to that. That's the question. What do you have to do to get to that? You, you, you never know? know until you get involved. You got you to yeah. hang. We, we, we always say you got to hang. Right. You got to hang, man. And so, speaking of hanging, uh, the air day piece, that I might not be there this year. So, I don't know. I was going to say, gonna say don't, don't tell them that. Well, I mean, I'm just <laughs> letting you know how I'm feeling about people. is like, ugh. Like, he, he's a people, a people fast. So, I don't know. We'll see, but yeah. so uh, yeah, we have. A, I'll put that in the chat right now. We got the 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 Arid Day application. If you're interested in joining us for Arid Day, we have uh, this year is different. We're not having a formal with all the different lectures and formal presentations and stuff. This is going to be more like a party retreat weekend, like an executive retreat party with mucus's diet practitioners being super serious. And uh, so if you're interested in that, I just put the application page there in the chat. Go on ahead and click the link and, and, uh, and go, go through it. You can read up on it and what's, what's all going on. And we're going to be, in fact, I'll, I'll share. Let me show you guys where we're going to be at. So we got a mini, mini mansion that actually looks a lot like one of Eric's old sanitariums. Hold on a second. Share this right thing here. All right. 
So we got fifth annual Professor Arnold Eric Day celebration, July 28th through 30th, 2023, Columbus, Ohio, Victorian Village, Short North area. So this is some images of the space, just super hip, super just nice, plenty of room inside. We can stretch, you know, just put all kinds of stuff there. We're gonna bring some stuff in there, make some music and watch some I want to have a movie night, watch some movies, watch like Demolition Man and Earthling and analyze it, give it the old mucus free and analyzation filter, have a little fire outside. There's a nice little, might even grab, I think I, there's a cornhole thing in my dad's house. Might even bring that down. We can play, play the, the, the Ohio tradition of, of cornhole. And, and that's, that's another reason why I won't be there. That you won't, won't be there. <laughs> But here's the, here's the, the, uh, yeah, so this is an old ad for one of Eric's old sanitariums. And so we're in a similar kind of like big, that's that Victorian era. Cause this mini mansion was, I think it was built in 1899 or something like that. It's like almost 130 years old. And so, uh, yeah, so celebrate the honor, the legacy of Professor Arnold Errett in the Victorian era mini mansion reminiscent of one of Errett's famous sanitariums where he cured thousands of, quote, incurable patients. And so we had the application that you'll be able to fill out there. And then uh, we'll get back with you soon. The deadline for that's coming up uh, yeah, July 11th. So if you're, if you, you know, if you're not sure right this minute, do what you need to do check on stuff or flights or driving or whatever and then go on ahead and uh, if you want to join us go on ahead and apply and we are gonna have a good time we're gonna have a mucus free good time but uh but yeah it's it's yeah i'm i'm looking forward this year because i'm just like yeah we're gonna go and just really uh really plug in and what happens is a lot of the a lot of the plans like this is the kind of event where when you all this stuff that we're talking about where you want if if, if what you think here is valuable and what the community has to offer to hang out with us it's like or at least me brother air doesn't show up but it's like yeah, I hope it's, you know up. we're that we're, we're trying to like, this is what we can try to do to create these opportunities because you know i'm not able i get like dozens of questions and messages and things and man I, I can't even read it i don't even read them anymore because i get like in instagram and that stuff that's not the way to get my attention you know you can't go at it that way you gotta do things a little different this is like this is a no brainer if, if that's something that value to you. If you want to hang out with us and you want to try yeah, to the find inbox out about you, it. you know, like, like 20 yeah. or 30 inboxes. You, I yeah, think. yeah. I mean, that's just the, the and what yeah. happens a lot yeah. of people get give up with that. Yeah. They, they send a message and they hope that either email or, a, you know, some kind of inbox and they hope that you're going to read it every once in a while somebody will put a hook on there that's kind of interesting that might get your attention or you know but it's like the kind of things that get my attention is when some somebody shares my content then that's a good way to get my attention and because i usually reshare it i don't read i don't read it i don't even read the stuff I'm well what i'm saying is uh the it, if in instagram if you share if you share oh. your story, like one of my things, then I get a notification and I always reshare it. I like it and reshare it. Like, you know, thank you. You know, I appreciate, appreciate that. Mm. You know, now that you, you just got my attention for a second, you know? So now if you share something, if you help, you, you, you help us <laughs> and then ask a question or, you know, there, it's like, there's just a way to do this. And it's like people somewhere along the line, the what to me would be common sense the, of, of how you deal with social dynamics how you with with whoever you're trying to get to if you like i guess if maybe you maybe you want to meet jay-z or something well there's a way to do that but it's not going to be sending something in the inbox you know you got to create value and put yourself in a position to uh, to make that connection and so i'm just saying to me this is 
I'm saying things that everybody should already know, but I know very few people know it, so I'm gonna say it. That's you know, it's kind of it's what I, it's where I'm at because all this stuff I'm saying you should know already. Honestly, this is basic, basic stuff. But nobody thinks I don't come across a lot of people that think like that. You know, it's uh, they they there's it's like they're scared of rejection, so they're they're so they don't send the me- they they're like okay, I'm gonna send the message, and they're trying to instead of well another way to get my attention did did you build something and create something that can create a win-win situation uh, you know i i rarely ever that i can remember said no to a podcast somebody if you you build even the smile go on a podcast even if you have like five viewers if you ask me to be on your podcast you created something of value you created a platform so now you got my attention let's like let's go yeah i'll be on your podcast sure you know what i mean but if if it's just sending a bunch of random questions i'm not gonna answer you know there it's it's like half the half the time the the questions that are asked are found in the books that i publish so it's like okay then obviously you didn't read the books because that's another way that's i used to do that all the time more in, in folks that are more in the academic area would be to if 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 you're wanting to connect with an academic or an author or something read their book and then have some kind of interesting questions to ask that really shows like not you didn't not only did you read their book you thought about it deeply you analyzed it a little bit you know and so it's uh you know it's 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 so anyway that's that's enough Enough of that soapbox. It's uh, you know, it's it's a lot of it, 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 to me. This what I'm talking about is just common sense kind of stuff where you you got to go after what you want, and and first you got to see the value, as, as Brother Air says, recognize the blessing, and and the opportunity, and and take action. And uh, cause nothing, nothing's going to happen sit, sitting around, just sit, sitting around waiting for something to happen or trying, waiting for trying to be American. You're trying to be an American. You know, you're just sitting around trying to be an American. You know? Yeah. Sound, well, yeah. Sound, I mean, sound. sitting around, you know, hope, hope, hoping that something, you know, you know, I'm hoping the, the, I'm playing the lottery. I'm, you know, I'm hoping for a promotion. It's like, going about things the wrong way you got to take take control and build your life you know yeah. build you yeah. build you something build something build your paradise you got to build it mm-hmm. you know and you can do it all you have to do is just start doing it start saying this is what i'm gonna do and just start building it and um and, and you know it's, it's nobody nobody can't stand in the way of the truth truth will always win Mm -hmm. all you have to do is be about it though and 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 that's what i'm saying these game players i'm a practitioner i'm this i you know and then the next thing you know they cooning and 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 smiling and scratching where they don't itch and you know it's just it's just sickening man that's why you know to that point where with the you know Eric Day and I don't, I don't, even, know, I don't even know who you talking about. I don't well, know who you, who's, who's, cool it. who's saying they're a practitioner to well, because my thing is I don't see that. I don't see people I'm talking, people I'm talking about in life. I'm talking about in life. I'm talking about in life how they carry themselves with that little fake ass grin and that little get along conflict resolution type of attitude. Well, that's what I was talking about earlier, the soft, the emasculation yeah. of that's been a a project. Well, this is women and men. I'm talking about women and well, men. Well, they, they masculin, masculinize the women and feminize yeah. the men. I mean, that's been kind of the, seemed like some kind of agenda. I'm not as deep into all of the, the some of the theories that people get into, but I think it's to me it's just pus and mucus eating leads to that's, that. That's like there's there's no is. grand agenda or whatever. It's like pus and mucus eating. That's all it, it is. It, it, it will do that. That's all. Constipation it is. will do that. That's, will strip away 
because it, it's literally stripping away the humanity. So it's going to strip away the masculinity. It's going to strip away the femininity. It's going to strip away the humanity of the person. A mucus and pus free zone. That's what we're working for. Well, that's what I already have in my house. Like, so, you know, we, well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm you talking, know, in my car. Talk about know. some land, some earth, and some where we can jump in the car and drive. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. A we, little, we, yeah. And we yeah, have yeah, that that's... Some pus free zone where we can drive a mile or two and, and, and know that we're not going to see. Uh, yeah. So A yeah. Ajax a asked a question and thanks for the super chat and thanks Danny for the super chat. You know, always a great supporter. This is uh, the Michael. A, uh, yeah, this is but Ajax, yeah, Michael, he he gave us a super chat. Uh oh. this Ajax, he asked a question. He said, Any advice tonight on returning to the transitioning? I believe I believe, but I lost my way. I've worked your course. Uh, should I do it again? So that's a good place to start. I always encourage you to go through the course again. I was just talking to somebody today who went through the course for a second time. Then we're talking about the mucus diet healing system e-course that I created. Uh, that, I mean, because every time it's just like reading the book, every time you go through the course and read the book again as you're going through the course, because the course basically goes through the whole book. And uh, but yeah, it's a great place to start. Go go right on back through the course. Is, is there anything that you can tell him though where he won't fall off again? Once I mean, done. you you the to to plug in like what we were talking about earlier. Make sure you know make that effort to plug in. Whether it's coming to the Wednesday meetups, come to Air at Day, come hang out. You know, get get the plug in because that's when we say plug in. Hey. That I mean, that's really a lot of also from another angle of what we've been talking about today, the art of the plug in, which yeah. is you plug into the people that have what it is you want to learn or have what it is you're trying to accomplish. And so if, if you're if you value the mucus diet healing system, then plug into us. But the way you plug into us is bring value. And, but the, but what I'm talking about is universal. And I'm not so I'm not saying just, yeah, plug into us. I'm saying whatever it is you want in life plug in and you're going to get like that energy and we was doing that back you know all those years ago and all that it was like I, I was plugging into brother air he was he was plugging back into me we were plugging into in the Bic, and everybody that was around was feeling that energy and it was helping people be able to fast it was helping people be able to transition because it's it's not you just by yourself now there's there's a su support that you can feel yeah that's that, that you can't put a price on and that like that now that becomes priceless where you creating the community creating that structure and you know so i'm happy when i see folks like reese and brady where they came together and they're they they kind of put together a little plan you know their their challenges whereas i'm be and they're still 100 percent mucus free they have, i think uh what they said they, they've been 100 they've been 99 days mucus free in preparation for air at day check that out see now think about how the younger guys are practicing the mucus diet you know when we were in it we never challenged each other <laughs> I mean, it's like, I mean, this is their way of their way. Yeah. Their way. It's like their, yeah. 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 Their we way. Never, of we doing. never like, we never like, you know, challenge. Right. No. Like, no. Like challenge, you know. <laughs> and so, so just to see the way that they they are hooking this up, you know, with the challenges, it's like whatever makes you strong, you know, it's like, yeah, they, they, yeah challenges of making them strong because what is it like three months now mucusless mm -hmm. he said 99 that's, days yeah it's got to yeah, be an day 99 yeah, yeah so, so that's, tomorrow's day 100 so that's that's something yeah, we we'll celebrate so, early so that's that's like a a, a a serious move in clarity you know um serious move uh in elimination um 
what's it gonna bring up what you know and, and so it's, it's just you know you because just, then that becomes like other other people to, to 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 plug into when you see young the young guys like you don't always have to go for the you know you might start down there you know reach out where you find out well who's doing that well who's brady who's reese you know and you and then plug in and it's like, oh i said oh reese is oh he's a moderator on the the facebook group and the well, reese is group. the one that i'm in touch with all the time and so he he kind of i mean that's kind of become like a he's kind of like a mentee if, i mean if the, if the closest thing i would call for me mm-hmm. as, as you know i mean we talk a lot i mean over the mm-hmm. last year uh we really got close you know and uh he's just he's the he's to me he's the you know kind of like the one that i'm looking at you know as far as the the, the you know pass the torch you know kind of yeah, yeah i'm hoping like he's reese, gonna, i think he's he's of you know, the people that are left in the research and development team from years ago he's he's been in there the longest because mm-hmm. he was one of the uh, original ones of the newer from however many years ago that was and then, because uh, I think he was on the panel when we recruited and we got the Dean in, he was he was he was he was already in it on the panel, but uh, but that's what we're saying. Like he plugged in. He's yeah. uh, so Reese put himself in a position where he he can call Brother Air, and Brother Air calls him. Yeah, you know that that didn't that you know. So the questions that you should be asking, well, how did he do that? You know what? What did he do differently to be able to position you himself? What, and in I'll, that tell you, space? I'll tell you what. What he did? He started doing things that was just incredible. You know, like remember all the pictures he would send and he would post mm. in the garden, and and I, I'd be sitting back like just kind of watching. I mean, you watch, you'd be like this cat, you know. And so uh, it was kind of like. You know, I started reaching out, <laughs> you know, like, like, how'd you grow that? You know, he's growing big ass daisies, you know, and, and, and food and, and just doing a lot of really uh, hip things, man. And, and then, so now it's just kind of, um, he just hit me up today and uh, he was saying, am I that filthy he was, <laughs> he, he was like yeah, that filthy that and i'm yes yes you are that filthy. <laughs> so let's get that out he was talking about his his uh juicing you know just you know and and his enamel on his teeth you know like he was having some problems maybe with some you know uh some cavities and stuff and, and my suggestion mm. too is always drink with a straw mm-hmm. you know when you when you're doing juicing like that on on that kind of level but he he's you know he's one of them cats man that that uh you know that have, have they they ask the right questions man you know he'll he'll hit me up and he has no problem with hitting me up man i mean you know with, asking me something uh, about the most personal stuff. I mean, we didn't we didn't talk about the most personal things, you know, because it's real. It's real. I mean, you know. Yeah. And um, so, uh, you know, Reese is, is a very uh, and and he's respectful. You know, me and Decor just love him like that, you know. Cause he's so he's just respectful man and um and uh and we give him everything we got you know it's like um so yeah man i i i want to thank reese for uh really hanging you know really hanging with this thing um you know, and, and and uh let me be a part of his his whole kind of uh you know education in this thing, man. We talk when we get we get into some heavy things, man. 
And um, yeah, and when we talk about you know bringing things to the table, you know he's bringing all kinds of skills that we don't have. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah, I mean he's learning and things. It's I mean he he's uh yeah he's doing that. I mean you know me and Spirit have no problem with saying that we are not the most mechanical people. It's gonna fix cars and Mm -mm. build you know build build, build things houses and you know, no you know, I'm not not a tool you know my my tool yeah. game is real lame you know I don't got no yeah, great yeah, tools. Yeah, that's, <laughs> like, not, that's not that's, that's not what that. we do yeah, yeah so yeah, you know like, but Reese is it's like you know so uh so yeah man that's that's a good thing there there the day you said day 100 yeah yeah i guess that yeah tomorrow will be 100 days 100 like strict mucus free 100 uh -huh. mucus free that's beautiful was, yeah so i mean they and they were talking about how that plug-in where they're plugging into each other and just how that was helping them do that where they they had got inspired i mean it started with that inspiration from you of we did uh uh, fasted for an entire year and then broke your fast at era day you know so oh, just the, yeah. the, the legend of that kind of concept and then there's like okay we're gonna be 100 percent mucus free until era day and it was in months ago i remember when they <laughs> they called and i was talking to them they were asking questions about like what what, what the the gray area foods the foods that are or is this oh, mucus yeah, forming? Yeah. Is the mucus yeah, free? You yeah, know, so it kind of got my opinion on that, and I kind of. Well, said, they had a contract, didn't they? They had a contract. Yeah, they wrote yeah, up. yeah. It got got serious. Yeah, yeah, they got the contract out, and they was just like, yeah, we're we're gonna do this, do this thing, and so. And, I'm, that, and, I'm, and we have to do a shout out to Joe and Carlos for their juice mm. thing. They did something for was it like a hundred days? It was a juice. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. But yeah, I think so. I think it was yeah, like a hundred juice. day yeah. juice thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 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 practitioners, now we're talking practitioners, we're not talking parasites, we're talking practitioners. <laughs> uh you know, the serious practitioners are and and they're doing and they did it together. So I don't know if that was a challenge, but they did that together. That was two of them. So mm -hmm. they the the, the 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 modern practitioners are moving in twos. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? I couldn't imagine me and Vic doing a doing a, a challenge, you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. And 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 like cause in the way that I operate, it was yeah, it's the exact opposite of that, where yeah. I I do things without saying I'm doing it. Right, I talk right. about things after <laughs> I've done it. So I don't announce, like, okay, I'm starting a fast. I'm going to do this many days. It's like, I will tell you when I've already broke the fast. Like, I just I just did three months. He'd be like, oh, really? Like, yeah, I just broke it, you know, a couple weeks ago. Or something, you know, so I, I just, that was my habit, was just talking about things later and not really talking about it while I was doing it. But, uh, but you know, but that's the thing. Everybody finds their finds their thing you know finds I, their niche I, I got locked into that year-long fast by mentioning it on the meetup <laughs> right <laughs> i was i was i was like oh man why did i say that you know and uh because this is it's a mug to, to say that and then you kind of you know a day or two go by you didn't start it and then you thinking like, man, I gotta go eleven more months. You know, it, it was, man, I was like, I mean, if I would have came off the fast, I said, well, not gonna, nobody would have done anything. But when I, my word be bond, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, yeah. So you know, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do it. You know. Yeah. And, so and and you do i mean and that's kind of your version of that so you don't necessarily do challenge with other people but you you'll challenge yourself I'll challenge myself. It, yeah. you'll you sort of say something like okay i'm trying to do this i'm aspire to do this right. and yeah. you kind of put it out there and, and go after it and that's kind of your yeah. your way i and, motivate uh, myself to 
okay, I'm coming off on air. Because you remember, I couldn't come off on the day I wanted to come off. So right. we two more days, actually. Mm-hmm. So I was, you know, I was like, well, I'm going to come off where I can eat at air day. Because I was, you know, right. every, every air day, I was always fast. And I was never right, I right. Was all this food for air day. And I would never get right. a chance to, to check it out. So then, which was the most perfect way to come off on it on that Sunday at the park? That was mm-hmm. really, you know, but I was going to come off over that Saturday, that, you know, that, that, that Saturday night. And, um, but we played, we did the show and, and I was, we just didn't. So Sunday mm-hmm. was the most perfect day uh, to come off uh, on it. So it, it ended up going a year and six days. So right. that was, um, that was cool, man. I mean, that was yeah, yeah. That was a, that was an experience. That was a real experience, man. To and man, do you know how much money I saved where I didn't have to buy food for a year? Yeah, I mean, like you know, right. So, mm-hmm. so I saved a lot of money, and uh, yeah, but it it shows you just what the body can do, incredible things, you know. Like, yeah, you yeah. Know, I don't have to eat for a year. Take that, take that to 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 your doctor and, and ask him about that. What do you think? I, I you know, hey doc, uh, I I don't want to eat for a year. Uh, how how you think I should get started with that? They look at you like you have, you know. They'll have you they'll try to sign an order to have you committed. They'd be like, ah, you're you're... On, the fifth, on the fifth floor. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. You know. and, oh, here's a a question which we kind of answered earlier. Is smoking marijuana compatible with the mucus diet healing system and or fasting? So I'll I'll say no. No, it's not. Uh smoking is not like you don't want to smoke nothing no no there's nothing we just were talking about the the importance of breath of breath yeah you know if you want to yeah like get into the practices of breathing you know can you can you breathe once a minute you take a breath and hold it for a minute and, and out you know how long can you do a breath like how long can you do a breath hold how long can you blow all the air out of your body how long can you not breathe in you know how long can you get all the stale air out of your lungs with that you know there's all those techniques but you get that stale air out how long can you just go before you have to breathe in again these are all science of breath techniques science of breath practicing that that's what you should be into not smoking not anything <laughs> putting smoke into your lungs everybody that's like designed that. for air tell you, you know, there's nothing out. nothing you know natural about that if you like brother air says if if you really need your marijuana put it on your salad put it put you know chop it up and put it eat it put it on your salad or make a tincture of it or something but there's no need to be smoking it Mm-mm. there's no in and there's better herbs than that too. That's just the one that was promoted and marketed. If if we for medicinal elimination purposes, there's things that's a lot better than that. But you know, that's that's a different a different no, discussion. A big, no, a big no on 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 assigning value to marijuana as far as smoking weed. We we don't do it. We're not into it. It would you know. Um, I mean you can say there there's worse things that you could do but you know we're saying we practice the mucusless diet healing system and it consists uh, it consists of trying to transition ourselves off of all of those kind of uh you know those kind of things i mean smoking weed man that's 
know, it's just, it's it's at it's weed playing, costs money. It's, weed costs money. It, it's it's playing it's playing in the sandbox. Like that's yeah. all that's adolescent all. sandbox type of stuff. A lot yeah. of the Little just cool. a lot of the herbs and, and that kind of stuff. There's there's a place for it and a in a way to deal with it and use it when it's needed, but most people just use it like they they're 12 years old getting a Snickers bar. Like that's right. the kind of mentality that they had that they have with it is this kind they of turn up. As they say, they turn up. You know, anything goes Sunday. <laughs> anything goes Sunday. That's the funniest thing I heard in a long time. When Carlos told me about the anything goes Sunday. <laughs> Does that mean just look look at how goofy you know, just goofy with these that are the the elders are your European elders, but it look looking goofy just just smoking this smoking this weed. You know, it's like, it helps me with pain. That's what they'll say. Well, look what. Let's start with right. the pain. Where you? Where yeah. the what, pain what did from? you? Yeah. What did you eat to age you like that? Like that. Yeah. To prematurely yeah. age you to create the stiff joints and uh, yeah, you know all, all the various ailments. Like you, yeah, get to that. What's the cause? What's it? The cause. This is all treatment based thinking. We're gonna treat the symptoms. I feel horrible, so let me. Let, let me put poison in my body so that I don't I don't feel as bad. I feel just a little little bit a little better for a moment. I see Rachel was on there, man. That's somebody I haven't talked to in a minute. I, I, I really like her and her son. Um I miss you. Um yeah, I just haven't haven't communicated with her in a in a minute, but she's uh she's she's another kind of sister you know she's 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 something else man she's kind of the the, the kind of sisters you want in the trenches with you you know <laughs> yeah you know? so yeah you know Beautiful. yeah yeah i was hoping that rachel would would make it to to air it day this year it says she can't make it this year mm -hmm. but uh But yeah, yeah, it's uh, there's, there's definitely a lot of a lot of stories to be told, you know, from the the community and the kind of it's just the the kind of dedication that it takes to be successful long term with this diet is something that it's it's helpful to see it up front, you know, in person, and to get the the mentality of the people that have done it to kind of absorb some of that and really and you kind of ask those questions of like all right so you know like what <laughs> like well where where'd that come from where'd that mentality come from where did that uh because that was something i was always plugging in on the mentalities that i was seeing from, from brother air to the core vic and Khalif and just everybody i was i was analyzing everybody's mentality and seeing how the direct connection that the mindset had with the way that the practice, the effectiveness of the practice, the way that it was being executed, the level of freedom that one had in their spirit and in their attitude. I mean, you learn, it's like it was, I was being exposed to these different expressions of freedom just in the way that they would carry themselves you know from brother air that's that's a certain type of freedom vibration you're going to get hanging with him you go hang with the Cora. that's a that's a different kind of freedom vibration you know that's that's a, <laughs> that's a you know like you, you, know, up, you no, might don't, don't pull me over yeah, type you, of, might, you know you might be up a tree with her so you, you know it's, you never know and I uh feelings, so. and so freedom man if you say freedom of breath physiological freedom physio physiological liberation is what it's, it's all what about this, what this thing is all about man and i mean we're not making no bones about it that's what that's what's happening radioactivity 
that's that's who we are why why aren't we why aren't we those beings why aren't we why aren't we those beings now why because of constipation filth we've been lied to we are you know we are these illuminous people we are these people who these immortals we are those but for some reason we don't we don't lost our, our, our memory has been so uh obstructed so now we've gotten to the point where you know 50 60 years old you know you you supposed to be dead you know that's that's a lifespan and uh you know you, you 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 have what they call a home going and oh man this this is life 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 in in, in our times man i mean it's, it's it's nothing to celebrate it's nothing to, it's nothing to celebrate it's been and, and 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 it has been a celebration of ignorance and chaos that's what we we've, we've experienced here um so you know it's uh to overturn those thousands and thousands of years of of, of breaking the laws because that's what we've done we broke all kind of laws like, so here as you say that here's a good example a good example of what we're talking about celebration so we just had here in the united states the united snakes we had the fourth of july and 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 I, this cat joey chestnut i first talked about him in 2006 on the immortality pipeline radio show that we used to have where we would yeah, talk about i remember joey he was a diet and, and fourth of july came and that's where i got introduced to this guy joey chestnut so since 2006 this guy has been eating just thousands and thousands he's of hot still, dogs he's still at it he still wins so these are the uh, kind this is the kind of people within a pus and mucus society that get the 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 promotion that get the pat on the back that get treated with so much respect and reverence he just downed at the uh, the 2023 nathan's famous hot dog contest he won his 16th title by eating 62 hot dogs and i don't know what the, how if it's like within five minutes it's something like a time limit like five minutes or something 62 hot dogs 62 Dang. hot dogs and i don't know if that if, i don't know if that's his uh you know his record what his actual most record ever is i mean that's kind of high the 62 i think he's done more than that before but year after year, this dude just, and I can't play too much. I don't want to get, get a, uh, just to get a, just a little visual. Hope they don't, I don't get the copyright hitters or something, but just to show you what, you know, this, I always try to expose this to the world because it's like, Look, look at this through a mucus free lens. Look at this through any kind of rational because they always try to come at us and, oh, you're not getting enough protein and this, that diet is deficient and this and, and you know, and then they'll turn around and they'll go hang out and, and promote this and celebrate this just, just straight. So you know they because what they do they they find a guy because then people will even be like oh well he's 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 pretty old and he but he looks young and he he hasn't died yet and he's <laughs> you, you you find these guys but that's what I'm saying it's like that those are the people that get the the greatest promotion you find the filthiest people that are able to tolerate the worst food on the planet and without dying right away and they get all the fame they, they get all the yeah they get all they get, the, all, the, uh, they get the praise they get the, the, the focus. Praise. but that's but that's what happens in a deaf culture yeah and you all see, these thousands of people just deaf, showing up deaf culture survivor so 
this comes from mm. those those folks who are walking around talking about cancer survivor. Right. This is like, yeah. Know. Like look like they 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 got a <laughs> I mean they they go all out. Thousands of people show up to this thing. This is in New York and they they got you know things that they're putting up of him like he's this athlete this this big star yeah and man he they is. Just, he they is. just cel celebrate the and they and i had just seen a on espn they had a documentary on this dude i didn't watch it i was in the gym you know what i'm saying a documentary up, on this clown but on this clown yeah that, but that's and they try to and it's and value. they're so serious too just the way their demeanor and the way they're talking about it like this is some spiritual calling some very important american story uh, uh public interest story that that needs to be told the, the story of joey chestnut joey uh yeah. when did you start uh knowing that you had an appetite to eat like that uh yeah i was uh i was four years old and i just kept kept eating all the all the blow pops that they would feed me and my mom would you know have cases of blow pops and, Right, and I would just suck them down and, and eat them, you know, and, and get the bubble gum. And so I noticed then that I had a, uh, you know, I could, I could uh, eat a lot. And I mean, it's just idiocy, man. This, this, this is what I'm saying. But this is what we're talking about: slavery. Slavery, this is, right here. This is slavery. Slavery. <laughs> Has, is, and no, no, no clue that anything's wrong. I mean, they just this total stimulation because it's like, what? Okay, what? What all these folks eat? And, and look at the, the audience that showed up for it. That's what I'm saying. Thousands of people. Thousands of people, all complicated. This, this is this is this brings up the uh, variety. <laughs> The variety of uh, of constipation and pus, mucus and pus eaters. You know how how we have varieties that, that we run into through the through through our day. Mm. There's there's different varieties. Yeah. Of of you know and so uh, well, they got a brother on the stage this year. We. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. You know, look at it, 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 it just go for there's, ride. So, there's so yeah. much buffoonery to yeah. break down. I mean, then all these guys, you know, so you get the brother, and then on the shirt, you got Uncle Sam holding a hot dog looking goofy. And is I mean, arrested yeah. development. This is what we're talking about. Yeah. This is this is like psychopathic adult, it's not even yeah. adolescent, it's psychopathic adolescent. Yeah. It's a it's a psychopathic adolescent mindset, and and, and just this whole the thing. thing is, the thing is, we have to we have to start we have to start like like really being out front with with what we're not happy about, mm -hmm. like publicly. All those we need to be there, saying this ain't cool, you know this ain't hip. And so, uh, you know, um, to to really make people because if they don't know that it's it's it, you know it's like they don't know that they don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't know it's not cool, but somebody has to, you know, be out and somebody there. Somebody has to tell them, or or we just get out of the way and we let all of that fall into the ocean, like well, that whole thing is wiped out. You see all the folks talking about jesus at, at the big events because how are you gonna t i mean you're and, and, and I think last year there was a there was a protester there was a vegan protester i think showed up and and jumped on stage and and tried to do something over by joey and then joey like put the guy in a headlock or or punched him or something and so joey got all this you know he got even his uh, fame even went bigger because now he he choked out a vegan advocate that, that jumped on stage and it was just like Joey can, Joey can handle himself he can, yeah yeah he's you know, he's, you know yeah I, I wonder how much sex Joey got after that 
Oh know? man, hey, hey, Steve, right? Yeah. <laughs> I want, you know, I Joey. want your, I want your parasites, Joey, Joey. I want your parasites. You know, it's just they lining, they lining up, they oh, lining Nathan, up for Joey. You know, Nathan, it's like man, Nathan, Nathan's parasites. You know, Nathan yeah, Nathan sixty-two hot dogs. You know, oh you, man, spread. Got some eating skills. Come on, I want some. Let's go, Joey. Yeah, you know, well, I mean, let's, it's let let let's let's share fluids. <laughs> Yeah, that's, yeah. Like I that's, want, I want that's, to. What, that's what the sisters though. You know, I'm talking about. You know, I, you know, we were talking about the sisters. You was on the brothers, but that's what the sisters don't get, man. It's like they can, <laughs> they can they, clean. Yeah, yeah. Well, clean. I mean, it's, it's the it's like, what are you attracted? Like, uh, audit what you are attracted to. You know, analyze like, what Ooh. are you? What are you attracted to, and why? You know, and it's why? probably it's like, uh, probably man, you know. You know like that doesn't matter. You've been doing all this. I'm a practitioner. I've been doing all this work, and and look what you you know look look what you lay down with. It's like, ugh, man, it don't click in at all. Oh, he's cool. He's you know. So you just look at look at all this all this stuff going on, man. And 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 like I say, we're not running from it. We're running to it. We'll be the ones out at Nathan's. At, at some point, yeah, yeah, we'll with, be out with there. The and, 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 and with the bull horns, talking about joy, you know, trying trying to get joy a mucusless diet book. You still have a chance to get it together, you know. You're a very kind, man. <laughs> I'll pay for Joey. I'll, I'll buy the book myself and give it and give it to Joey. Joey here. Here, bro. I'm I'm showing you some love. Yeah, like because you're good at good boy. I mean, because when about it constipated. Yeah, I mean, because once constipated. once that starts going downhill, man, it's it. Like he's not oh, gonna have ooh, a, a real ooh. chance to. I mean, it's gonna be a short little period. You know, be like. I mean, can oh, you imagine the parasites the that's inside him and the mucoid plaque that's inside him, boy? It, ooh. It just, I mean. That scares me to even think about that. But you know, this is this is who they celebrate. I just want to shake his hand. I just want to be around him. I, you know, we're sick. We're sick people, man. But but but, you know, safety. You know what they say: safety first, right? So, in in our darkest hour, in this society. We all came together and we stayed in our homes. We shut down all the businesses except for McDonald's and other restaurants. And, and we were good little boys and little girls. And again, leading the way. They, they, they decided during the shutdowns, they would have a Nathan's. They would keep the contest going. And as long as you eat... Just put on the face mask afterwards. So he right here, he's, he's showing leadership to the children to, if you're going to eat 50 hot dogs, then put on a face mask before and after. Stay safe. <laughs> but, but foolery. That's just, just total, total, total insanity. See, no, 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 this is what I like, Sharon. See the, see the world through our eyes just yeah. for a moment. Yeah, yeah. Like we, you can turn us. You can like watch this and turn us off. And if you have the, if you have the, <laughs> the, the blissful kind of ignorance to be able to go back out in the world and not see like this is us twenty four hours a day. We can't turn this off. We we see right, this right, right, right. everywhere, which and causes we're, and, we're, and we're constantly we're constantly dealing with varieties varieties of constipation. Right. All through our, our, you know, if we go to the store, if we go to deal with, uh, uh, you know, go to uh, uh, renew your life. I mean, renew your licenses or anything, anything, wherever you go, it's just varieties of constipation that you deal with. And it's, it's, uh, it's insanity, man. It's, 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 and, and look at how how safe they were. They 
they they put up the the the, the little screens. They put up the screens. They got the the face mask. All everybody around is face mask when the the thing that's gonna kill everybody is is what they're eating for the contest. But you know they're they're all uh, uh, obedient slaves. This is uh, you know study obedient slavery. I mean that would be that's Professor Spear homework. Well, I write mean, write a paper on all the ways that you can observe. Like <laughs> go. Well, you just walk. talking about the American public. I mean, there's there's zombieism 101. You know, I mean, there's zombieism 101 right there. Uh, just the way we function. Fourth uh, of July and gunpowder. Mm -hmm. That's that's what makes the day the day. Barbecue ribs uh, and gunpowder. You did. Who? Who in their right mind would come up with gunpowder? Like, you know, who who, who developed gunpowder? Right. Like, 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 what kind of stimulation do you have to want to blow something up? Even, even um, Einstein. But it's, but it's fun. It's fun, brother. Air. Even, even, even Einstein. You know. And his theories, and what did they end up doing with his theories? Building a bomb. Mm -hmm. He was talking about time travel. See, right. Good things. He's he's at Air. He's at Air Sanitarium trying to detox. <laughs> right. <laughs> trying to, trying yeah, to clean up. Out with, like, with Fred Hirsch, you know. They yeah, were yeah, hanging out, and and they turn his 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 theories into a bomb you know and, you know here he was trying to get to time travel mm -hmm. but you know it's this it's how All you because of just things. straight constipation straight constipation. Southern, this is a southern cal teen warns of firework dangers after losing a hand was it worth it was it worth it to play with little bombs and gunpowder to be so young, lose a hand, get get be burnt, have skin skin burned off. Man, for what? I have no to love. see something go to see something go boom and pop. To I, see I mean, some it, fire. I have no love and no sympathy for none of these fools. I mean, it's it, it's it's you know it's it's done got to that point where. You know, and, and Houston dad said he'll never buy fireworks again. Uh, it, it took it took, which I don't believe, you know, you know but it, it took almost losing his hand to say uh, dog dog gone it. No longer going to do that. We'll have the barbecue, though. That's not going anywhere. Oh, no, we've got to have some got to have some burgers and hot dogs. Man losing's part of hand. House catches fire a mid July 4th fireworks mishap they called it a mishap <laughs> a, a, a mishap mishap yeah. happening yeah. oops 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 a daisy <laughs> lost a hand lost a hand lost a hand on a mishap sorry yeah. i mean you know oops it, it, it's it's the perfect example to to witness zombieism i mean like Grab your phone and wherever you can take a video, and and uh, and watch zombieism on the fourth. I mean, that's like a very good day to, to see. I mean, the height, the height mm -hmm. of, of zombieism. You know, talking about the Walking Dead. I mean, so. Oh yeah, man. I mean, I'm, I'm done, man. I'm, I'm, I'm done with folks, man. This is very hard, man, for, for to, to, to get the brother air now. You know, it's like I say, if I don't speak, don't, 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 don't think it's nothing personal. It's just, I just, you know, Spiro has to at least say, yeah, he, he, 
he he's trying to be a being and then i i might i might say something to you if, if spirit endorse you first <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> right you got it that's right. where i'm at with folks man yeah. I'm just, you know it's like stay away from me just leave me mm -hmm. alone i don't know I don't want you know, to just do, you know, it's about doing the work, do the work, you know, plug in, plug into the community, just take, take advantage of what, of what's available. There's sometimes that, you know, I'll notice people are real quick to, to either criticize or to give people love giving advice on things. They love giving like, well, if you, if you do this, you can really, blow it up and everybody would know about it and you could teach it like this and you could do and it's like well why don't you bring something to the table and what what you what have you done to yeah. help the cause because yeah. you know what have you done very few people in the world that know what we know now right i'm gonna say that there's very few people in the world that know what we know right we're still trying to put it together and work it out ourselves it's you know this is how you master oneself is but but fear we, that that just doesn't exist in our world. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be fearless. You gotta be fearless, man. Yeah. And that's what you see in the practitioners who are they're not fearless. A lot of the practitioners are not fearless. They they wanna be and they'll yeah, do, yeah, yeah. They'll do a few things such as, oh I'm doing the minimums, I'm doing oh, you can't well, anticipate it and fear and have fear. It, it something's not gonna work. You know, I mean, you gotta, you, you know, you gotta do the work and you gotta be consistent. I mean, that's been my. You you've heard me do other videos, and I've always talked about being consistent, being disciplined, and having a passion for something. Mm-hmm. Got to be consistent. Got to be disciplined. Right. You dig? And, and and you have to have a passion. I mean, like, really, really want something. Uh, you're trying to get to something. You're always trying to get to something. You know? And, I mean, the, the, the music, could, it could be the music. I mean, what you love, I love music so much I can give it up. Cause I'm not hearing no music. I'm not. I'm not. I don't even want to be around the musicians anymore. Mm -hmm. That's something that we, me and Spirit, just been talking about. We don't even want to hang. We well, you know, we want to. We we want to. We want to be around people who who breath is first priority. Mm -hmm. Who's trying to clean themselves up? That's who we want to be around. Nothing else. Nothing else is unacceptable. Nothing else is unacceptable. I mean, it's, 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 it's just, you know, uh, so, I mean, oh, brother, are you this, oh, you're just so hard. Yeah, I'm hard. I'm very hard. The, but imagine how hard I am on myself. Mm. When I go mm. 43 days or, or, you know, without no liquids and no, you know, when I do 29 days, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really trying to, like, find out like where I can share like you know this is what happens this is you know I'm gonna share the good and I'm gonna share the bad with you you did right. and and because I'm, I'm I'm interested in this thing man it's an it's it, it, it got me it, it's like okay we're not the humans that we should be right we're just not the humans we should be we don't supposed to be assigning value all that old monkey crap on television. We don't supposed to be be going. How, how how can you go to your enemy to be educated? 
<laughs> insanity. 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 How can you how can you have children and you won't eat this, but you'll feed it to your children? Right. Insanity. I'm a, I as a parent won't touch that, but I'll let my children have it. Right. Insanity. So, you know, I mean, we, we really, you know, like my, my thing, man, is, is, um, you know, it's, Let's uh, let's make the zombies disappear by any means necessary. I would <clears throat> like I would like the zombies to uh, rehabilitate themselves, mm -hmm. but at the same time, if they decide to jump off the bridge, I'm not going to stop them. I mean, my thing is really staying focused on building our world and our reality. Yes. To me, this is a build. We was talking about masculinity. That's that's building. You should you yeah. should be. If you're a, a man, a young man, aspiring man. Build something. Be building. Build be something build that's gonna elevate the human spirit. That's gonna that's gonna help you clean yourself up. Build. You know, build build your life. Right. Build, you know, like, you know, so don't be afraid of, 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 of living, you know. Because you but definitely and, don't have and a study long enough to get to get the values in order, because that's what we were talking about earlier. They get yeah. these the folks when they're young and totally mess up the value mm -hmm. system to where it's the material mythology. And so the, all the energy starts going into zombieism. Yeah. You say it, it goes into that. So a handful of people learn how to make a few bucks, and then they always like they think they made it. Woo! Wow! I'm and I'm it produces, and that's what they that's what they highlight, and they and they um, they promote it to promote what to produce more out of the community like that, like that. You didn't you didn't you didn't see them promoting Huey Newton and putting his right. image up all no. the time. No. Where no. we could produce more like that. Right. You didn't see that. No. But here's Jay-Z, there is whoever Boo Boo or whoever the the latest what you know, whatever zombie is, and they that's who they want to produce. So they so they sit Jay Z with Warren Buffett and they you know mm -hmm. he's this he's this degenerate this the this this degenerate finance guy that's that's rich and he posed to know nothing which he don't know nothing he don't know nothing and and him and Jay Z posed to be sitting at the table having a real you know like a real discussion like this is really important about what they're talking about. They're not talking about clean blood. They're not talking about breath. They don't they, they they're talking about some 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 dollar bills with with, with with Caucasians on them. Like how to get it, how to do this and what and 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 and, and you see what I'm saying? It's like a whole lot of nothing. And they highlight that. They highlight it. Like this meeting was very, very historical. Yes, right. This is, this yeah. is, this is very Jay Z. Jay Z, like, with, with I mean, Warren Buffett. Mm. Are you really? Are you serious? Meeting of the minds, the streets. I'm a brother. The... I'm, I'm a brother, and do you really want me to take Jay Z seriously? He doesn't know nothing. He doesn't know nothing. 
nothing. He knows nothing. That's the, that's the, he knows nothing. Don't y'all get it? He knows nothing. That's a value. He's a slave. But he has money. He has Beyonce. Another he slave. Just, let me get a po let me get their poster. Another slave. See, that's so but that's what they want to produce. That's what they want to produce out of the communities. More Beyonce's. They want they want to turn the women into a bunch of whores and you know, and and, and, and the guys in the and bunch the pole, of the, yeah the pole culture <laughs> yeah 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 so it's a pole it's a pole in their future you know i mean the, the, the greatest thing beyonce can do is maybe dance with high heels on that i've seen that that takes some skill other than that that's that's they, about they it. Tried, yeah, they tried to promote veganism for a few days. Oh, I, think. Man, I don't please. think that I don't think that lasted. Please, man. They are carnivores inside and out. You know, they know nothing. They know nothing. They are nobody to assign value to. So, you know, um, like I say, Jay Z, uh, he, he, you know, to look at him as a recording artist, come on, and please, you get on the band stand. We just look at him, just like when you say throw, you <laughs> to throw your your symbol at him, man. It's yeah, like get your ass off, him, you know, sit your ass down somewhere, you know. Ain't done a stitch of nothing, a study of nothing. You know. And that's like we said, the who they assign value to. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's that's what uh, oh well. I mean, I just had a, a week of last week of, of, of watching the Taylor Swift phenomena <laughs> i mean you talking about a whole lot of nothing like just i mean like if jay-z is nothing she's even less than nothing i mean that was just i mean to see the kind of uh uh fanship that she had i mean this was just ridiculous I mean, yeah, I mean, like a Michael Jackson concert type. Yeah, of. oh man, it was it was insane, man, to see all them folks down there and and uh, I mean, you know, another another person who has no talent, mediocre at best. You know, she's she's kind of like the, the the you go to a high school talent show and you see somebody like her. That's about the level of her, her talent. But they've turned her into this, you know, this artist that, you know, and we're not talking about real young girls. We're talking about, you know, young adults, man, that, that, that think that she is just everything, man. It's, it's so, I mean, we, we got, I mean, you know, like I said, this is, this is, uh, her, her audience is, is the mall. <laughs> it's like, yeah. you, can, you can, you can take all her audience and put them in the mall. And these are the people who go to malls, you know, it's like, right. this is hangs out. Yeah. Yeah. Hangs out at the mall. You know, this is her audience. And so that was pretty disgusting. But I mean, America is the place for for disgusting things, you know. It's, I mean, the depth the depth of of foolery is just limitless, man. Just limitless. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's why to me, yeah. I just I'm at a point where I just block most of that out half the time. 
I ain't even it's just just focused on creating our little right gonna create our little space right over here and we just let that thing is just gonna burn itself up and they all got me are gonna kill them if they don't kill themselves with 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 guns and bombs they'll do it with the chemical warfare and shots and medical malpractice and so i mean soon so one way or another they will take themselves out well they're and, doing that uh, i mean they're, they're doing, doing a good it. job they're yeah and 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 shooting it's a shooting every day somebody mm -hmm. dying young 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 children that's a, that's a sad commentary but you know ain't no love ain't no love for the zombie you know it's like if the so-called adults don't want to stand up and, and be adults and teach teach the uh, the young people uh, about uh, about life, real life, you know, and they want to continue to uh, send them to these deaf culture schools and 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 give them this deaf culture diet. Then nobody, nobody have no love for 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 any of them. So you know, you get what you get. You know, get what you get. So, so yeah, man. I think I think we we've we've, we've covered some. We we basically have said, you know. Yeah, yeah. We, we've always said that. Yeah. We don't really. We're not feeling. <laughs> we're not feeling you. <laughs> <laughs> not feeling you call your your culture yeah. you know we we are from another planet we come here to <laughs> yeah know. yeah we we were we 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 somewhere along the line we messed up so we we got sent here so we're cleaning we ourselves up to clean it up and, and we we're gonna transmute as soon as we can and yeah. and transform our blood so that we can you know we we can hop on a on a moonbeam out of here and yeah to to uh you know something something a little more fitting of uh because this is is an interesting realm of 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 hell a hellscape where well, you have uh you know such such beauty and such pain all wrapped up in the same little little square a little block of land and just this total well just, I just chaos you, man i think you should tell them about eric day and um i'll i'll hear about it i'll hear about it afterwards I, you know you can tell me about it but maybe maybe they'll have a write-in like reasons why brother eric should, should come to there <laughs> yeah and why i think we I don't know. We'll 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 see. We'll see if we get you yeah. inspired to come, and uh, if not, I inspired. think uh, I doubt uh, John. John's gonna come help you. Yeah. Well, I, I already figured out how I'm gonna deal with John. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna I'm do. I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna ride off on, into the on the Kalima board into the to the. Uh, <laughs> So I'm gonna get on my Kalima board and put a little motor on there <laughs> when he comes. And so yeah, I'm, so yeah, man. I'm, you know, yep. Yeah. We can talk about yeah. this stuff all night, man. Yeah, yeah. It's so to to wrap up. You know, we talked about coaching for dummies. There's a lot of coaches out there. And the dummies hiring them. <laughs> that, <laughs> so that's really what the, is what that's about. Instead it's turning of turning these people into, and turning these people into like they like they know something after two years of something, you know they think they can help, right? You know, and they need to be helping themselves and and really learning something. There's nothing like living through. Uh, birthing <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> like a life like you mm -hmm. know I've, I've raised a family on the mucusless diet i know you know i know the ills and the things you got to deal with with you know with, you know 
Um, Hanif is, what, 28? He's still never been to a restaurant. Those are the things. Those are the things that you want to stick. Those are the things that that I always tell people. That's kind of like like the things that that that, that he's into is, is like how fathers talk about their children graduating from Harvard. Mm -hmm. That's the way I talk about him. Is like, you know, he's 28 years old, never been to a restaurant. Those are celeb you know, is 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 achievements. Achievements in the culture is changing mm -hmm. one by one. We that's all we can deal with. But it it's gonna it's gonna, you know. Ain't a lot of people can say that. I I can't say I've never been to a restaurant, you know, but but we started the process. That's the key of what we're doing, is we're starting the process, you know, of 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 a life culture and turning this thing around. It, it starts like that, man. It starts like that. You got to live this stuff, man. So when you talk about coaching, you got to know something to coach somebody. You got you to know something. You know, you would, you, would have, you would have no clue if you've been into this thing for two or three years and you've never seen somebody's adrenals just shut down you wouldn't have no clue what to do right you wouldn't even recognize it right you wouldn't even recognize it you you just well uh uh yeah uh, <laughs> you yeah. you wouldn't even recognize that you know so you know, be patient. Try to find somebody to get up under and and uh, make yourself self accessible. You know, and to them and and uh, and just learn this stuff, man. You know, learn this stuff. And 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 you know how you learn it by going through it. Mm -hmm. That's how you learn it by going through it. <clears throat> yep. Nature's operating table. Nature's operating table. There it is. And, uh, so I just uh, posted up again. If you're interested in joining the Mucus Free Life Research and Development Team, click that link if you want to join us for Eret Day Celebration 2023 at the end of the month. Click the link. Check out the applications there. Plug in. Uh, you know we are gonna have a good time. And this is the opportunity of what I was talking about as far as if you want to work with me on a one on one kind of personal basis or in our group, it's, this is like the inner circle group. And, you know, we do real work in this group and <laughs> they're like the ones that helping put put some things together. I mean, we, we got some, plan. you know, we're working on these PhD plans. Course. This is a PhD type of level. I mean, this ain't no, this ain't nothing no job little this is like you know spirit is the real deal i mean it's you know when he was in when he was a freshman we had that conversation about college and he was saying yeah you know i'm you know get my bachelor's and i'm gonna do my thing and i'm a, you know and we just said look if you don't get a phd this ain't even worth it you know you you, you get what you yeah like if you're gonna do it do it do it <laughs> you know? yeah do it yeah you so know, get everything this thing is worth you know this thing ain't worth just a bachelor's degree this thing ain't worth just masters this is a phd right. you know this is the place where phds sing and right. ring you know yeah. and all the rest of the, all the rest of the stuff is just you know hell you can you can you can you can walk in and put in an application to get the jobs that a bachelor will get you, you know? So, you know, so he went and done his thing and, um, and and even in Mucus Free, we still can say, when they say, well, you know, you're talking about the diet, y'all are not no doctors. Uh, yes, he is, he's a doctor. <laughs> 
Right. He's a doctor. That's, you, you want the title? He, he's a doctor. Okay, so, you know, is that enough? You know, they always, talk, they always say, you're not no doctor. Yes, he is a doctor. So, don't, you know, we, we covered our, you know, we covered that. Covered all, all the bases. All yeah. the bases. Yeah. Let's see, Dan, Danny asked a question. We'll, we'll field his question real quick. Uh, he said, would you guys say that adrenal shutting down is inevitable or unavoidable on the transition? So I think it's, I think it's, I, I have a theory I that if you transition everybody. well enough, a total shutdown is, is avoidable, but it's, you gotta, you really have to transition well. Now you're going to, you'll be pancakes sometimes or you kind of go through like what brother air went through with the, you know, just periods where you just kind of like, Oh man, I ain't getting out of bed today and just going through those eliminations. But as far as like what I went through, uh, it's it, a lot of that depends on the person and the physiological karma that they bring to the table. And then the way they practice. Those are the, the, worst, diet. Those are the worst kind of shutdowns. The kind yeah. Of yeah. Because you don't know what this is. You'd be like, what's going on? You're trying everything. You're doing, mm -hmm. you know, you just, so, um, so yeah. You know. Yeah. So it's one of those things I think that my, my, my best advice for everybody is to really get into the transition diet, really understand it. Don't, it, it, the more we talk about ego, it's like where you, you let go of, kind of get the ego out of there and do your best to transition in accordance with your body. When you learn to listen to your body, where it's at, you know the tools and different things that you can eat and do it. What, what I see a lot of time, especially for folks coming from some of these raw food backgrounds, is ego is in the way trying to get them to do things that they shouldn't be trying to do with their body because they're not ready yet. So they want to try to do a real long fast or they want to try to eat nothing but fruit for a year or whatever, whatever it is. And they'll do it for a little while. And then if the, if their adrenals are low, they're going to that, that, that that's what ends up happening to a lot of those folks. They they're riding high for a few days and all of a sudden, boom, and basically their adrenals just couldn't recharge because they, because they're too weak. They're not ready to eat nothing but fruit. You know, they're not ready. You got to build. It's part of the building up process where you're building up to that. What are you building up? You're building up your physiology. <clears throat> you're building up your body to the point where your adrenals, your thyroid, your pituitary, all the glands are just working at such a high level that not, now you don't have to sleep. <laughs> like you were you don't you don't have to sleep just to recover just for everything to recharge you're able to uh exist at a whole different plane of existence you know level where, where is your sleep at now where is your sleep sleep situation at like how many hours it's four it's four to five hours four to five yeah yep yeah, I never have any dreams or like that I remember. Very rare. I, there may be, I'll remember two or three dreams a year. Yeah, and so yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah. thing. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and I sleep. And it's just, yeah, it's kind of just when, when, whenever I start kind of feeling like I don't pl really plan it, they just like, okay, I start feeling like, okay, it's look at the clock and I start feeling it like, okay, let me go lay down. And then was, uh, a few hours later, I'm back up. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I was telling somebody yesterday how, like, my sleep is still like maybe an hour, mm -hmm. but I never get into no deep REM sleep. It's almost like, and I was telling them yesterday. I said it's almost like I'm I'm afraid to get into REM sleep, like, like I'm gonna die or something. I wake up like that kind of. Mm -hmm that kind of urgency, like, oh, you know, like I won't, I'll, I'll catch myself getting into deeper sleep. So mm. when I'm asleep, it's like you can snap your fingers around me and I'm going to hear it. Mm -hmm. I'm not into that deep REM sleep. But when I go into that deep REM sleep now, I immediately wake up. Like, I don't want to go that deep. So mm -hmm. 
I might sleep about an hour a day. Not even an hour, probably probably 30 to 45 minutes. And then I'm, yeah. I'm back up, you know, mm-hmm. it's like, so, yeah, you know. Now, how long do you do your, like, how, like, what's your daily breath work regimen? Like, when you do breath work, how long do you do uh, that? It's funny because I've been doing my breath work now at night. Mm. And, the, and, the, and and especially now since the, the weather's kind of changed and it's the nice wind and, and air at mm-hmm. night, you know, I love that, man. Mm-hmm. To, to sit on the porch and just, you know, and I do the breathing under the tongue, you know. Mm-hmm. Hold in three, count three, you know, and, and exhale so yeah i'm doing it at night now and um i'm doing it at night to the point where i'm really uh you know watching the moon man it's up you know i mean i'm outside Mm -hmm. and and i bring that so you do it how long for like an hour or 30 minutes i might i might be out there for three or four hours sometime Mm -hmm. And yeah. I will do little periods of, you know, 15, 20 minutes. And then I'll, you know, then I'll just get inspired to, because I've been going through uh, just, you know, the, the whole, uh, I won't say panic attacks, but just, kind of very uncomfortable uh, uh, and I think like this has been the longest that I've eaten mm, in a long I, time in yeah. 20 years I haven't yeah, eaten yeah, yeah. In 20 years I mean we're talking 5 months I haven't eaten like that in in twenty almost 20 years I haven't eaten for 5 months mm. I think the longest I did was maybe two two and a half months, but this is a whole nother thing, man. I've, and I've been having some real issues with getting fasting started. You know, like starting the fast. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know. So. But I, I bring that up to, to show people. It's like because people are kind of like when you say they can't put that together and really understand when you talk about you only sleep for an hour, then they don't understand. Yeah. But you're doing breath work instead of being unconscious and sleeping for hours, you're doing more hours of breath work than you are unconscious. Yeah. Because you can do breath work. You can do breath work anytime. Right. But people don't make, they're not, they don't make the connection of re, the recharge that you can, because they think you have to sleep to recharge. Any, like the, no, anytime, look, the breath work is, is done like, this is, a, this is the, the logic behind, the, behind slipping in the breath work anywhere and anytime. Is anytime you do breath work, you are extending your life mm-hmm. because you're slowing down what normally would be at another rate of speed but here you are slowing it down right so you automatically extend your life so that's why you know the breath work is mm-hmm. is is important if, if you can you know, get 30 minutes in, an hour, 15 minutes, uh, every hour, 10 minutes, every two hours, or, you know what I mean? Just just that little bit, you extend your life because you stop the rate of, 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 of speed. Anytime you can stop that rate of speed of, of whatever, you know, whatever your normal rate is, if you can be cognizant of that 
rate of speed of just so now you're down to 40 beats a minute it might you might normally as you function through the day it might be 60 70 beats a minute so now you consciously you, you you're just slowing everything down so you automatically when you do that you automatically extend your life that's it's no it's it see my thing about this thing is one plus one equal two this is not rocket science you don't have to be into you know like these 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 folks on on youtube with all these million dollar words and 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 the way they teach diets and and oh they're just saying all this heavy stuff and oh they just they've got all this to then all that is 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 not that's not where it's at this thing is as simple as one plus one equal two that's all this thing is you know so you know yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, don't be like this guy you don't want to breathe like a dog where you where you <laughs> Right, and, 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 because again, we're just we're just putting we're just making connections here, people. These yeah, are well, things you can do for I mean, yourself. Look at, look at look at him. Run that run that one more time where you can see him breathing. And okay, 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 okay. Now, think about how long his life expectancy is. Right, right. Dog dog years. Yeah, you know, they have a thing. Dog years where because they lives such shorter lives because he's breathing at such a pace right if this dog could could have some kind of understanding of slowing his breath down he would live for 50 years mm -hmm. see right. this is what i'm saying it's one plus one equal two this is not anything that just is you know this mystery and this mystical and all you know no uh, but nobody else is talking this stuff like us. No, no one. That. No, Nobody no. telling you about the blood and cleaning, cleaning your blood, and 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 you know, you know, there's there's, there's nobody on yeah, you. Yeah, ain't nobody training. If, yeah, if you train, yeah, get transition the dog, train it to breathe properly. Man, you had dog be 40, 50 years old, running around, you know. Yeah. You know, doing doing yoga and stuff. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, it, it I mean, you know, you know, but because the, the value we're again, the value, the, the value system. Yeah, we're yeah, serious. Talking, yeah, the value system because this is, you, you know, what what do people they teach their dog to to get a ball? They yeah. teach their dog how to how to attack people. Yeah. How to fetch this and how to fetch things, how to how to sit down, roll over, do key how to, things. How to walk, how to walk right next to them. And you know, with a certain yeah. posture. Yeah, walk well, with the, you know, how about yeah, teach teach the dog to breathe properly. Right. Slow down with the breath. Slow down, man. <laughs> like, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, they you can't do that. That's, 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 uh, but we don't know nothing about it. That's what I'm saying. They don't know nothing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, and I always I always say that like like the like the like the guy saying that sitcom. You don't know nothing, man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't but know yeah. nothing. You know. Oh, Danny said he's gonna be up this way. You coming to air day, Danny? With the at the end of the month. He said he's gonna be here next week. Yeah, hit us, hit us up, man. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll holler at you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So all right, well, yeah, we, <laughs> we, 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 we dropped a few gems for him today. We got the, you got the breath, and you got yeah, the breath. Man. The importance of breath, and uh, we learned talk, why I dogs about, live I, shorter. I talked about the the. The, the women who <laughs> yeah you, you talk about the fallen, women who have fallen and, yeah. and, and, and who call themselves practitioners who who are you know faking the funk and uh 
you know, keep them away, you know. Yeah, yeah, not talking. Yeah. You talked about the brothers, and, the brothers that need to you need to get it together, boys. Yeah, put put that soft serve away. Let's get hard. Let's do some work. You know, let's build something. Say save, save your community. That's mm -hmm. what this is about. Save your community. Save your woman. You know, see, show her, show her that you can lead and you can be that. That you know, that she doesn't have to you know fear you and 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 think and and think that you're the problem mm -hmm. that's what they done made the, 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 the women believe that we're the problem you know so yeah yeah where they say you know the <laughs> you know you yeah <laughs> it's like we can just get get going all that it's like find that that that, that the plug-in the proper plug-in where if every clean clean yourself up, they don't want to clean that. themselves they, up. They, Let's they get this the, plug in. The women though, women they want everything that's not right. <laughs> that's what they that's what they look for. Everything that's not right. When when, when you say recognizing the blessing, psh, what, do you, what do you say they they they're waiting on the. Uh, they they don't they they don't see the boat the 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 yeah the, they, the boat. yeah it's like the flood the flood, <laughs> hey, the flood is coming up and the guy yeah. in the boat comes by hey jump in the boat it's like yeah. nah my god's gonna save me yeah <laughs> get, yeah get up yeah. on the roof and the, the water's coming on. and the helicopter comes like hey get get in the helicopter it's like no my god's gonna save me yeah and then yeah. they drown and they go and they talking to God and it's like God why didn't you save me it's like man I, just, I sent you a boat I sent you a helicopter what you want what you want? What do you need? <laughs> you know, and that's where that's where women are, man. They 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 want the worst thing that they can find, and then when the when the good things show up, they just they can't even recognize it, man. So you know, it's it's like uh, you know, you just you know, but uh, you know, I'm good. You know, I'm good with who I'm who I'm seeing, so <laughs> yeah. I'm all right. So yeah. Um, so yeah, man. I'm out. Y'all might not see me for a while. Yeah, he's about to the, the brother air sabbatical. Yeah, I'm getting ready to move on, man. Yep, yep. But um this was this was great, man. People who who uh, was on the chat, you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely appreciate yeah. everybody plugging in on the chat, and we had a real good uh, just discussion and connection here with folks in the chat. And and again, I'll post one more time if you want to plug in with us and the research and development team or air at day celebration at the end of the month click those links and apply come join us come hang out we're gonna have a lot of fun and uh focus on the breath focus on cleaning yourself up do it get your lemon juice distilled water animals going you get your fruit going get your juicer going get yep. so all these things so that we have all these beautiful tools so, that we have so, so, so when so when when spirit talks about partying and, and, and you know I, I, you know the whole party and thing you know i mean like what eric day is gonna be this is not a pussy party okay so, <laughs> yeah 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 so yeah. we want we want to you know we want to get that over to you this is you know brothers and the sisters this ain't that yeah yeah no yeah, party, not, not, not drugs you know we are yeah, we're talking yeah, about our drug is, yeah, yeah. you know we, we're gonna have some dirt we'll get high on some durian oh and, man uh, yeah yeah <laughs> we're talking about gathering and so stimulating yeah. conversation and and just you know being there with each other you know just so uh, you know sane saneness sameness mm -hmm. <laughs> that's yeah. sameness you know right right so everybody understands when you start talking about you having problems doing your enema we we, we feel you you know it's mm -hmm. not gonna be way off the mark you can talk about these things with with, with everybody there we you know we're all 
Yeah, yeah. It's just, just nice being in, in an environment where everybody's on the same page. You don't have to worry, yeah, worry about it. It's over. Oh, what, what are you doing? Oh, you're doing enemas? It's like, man, it's normal to everybody there. We, we're all doing this thing and plug it. So it's a beautiful thing to see. You know, it's a beautiful yeah. thing seeing the kind of interaction in the culture that happens at the airbnb uh, just with the which is with this year where everything is going down at the volunteer airbnb and so yeah it's, it's gonna be good it's gonna be good all right all right everybody so thank you all this, we haven't done this in a minute man. So i know cool. yeah it's been been a while and, 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 yeah it's been been a while been, we have to kind of rejuvenate this thing again, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm back. You know, I'm kind of getting my momentum going. I'm just like I'm kind of in my my little zone and my work mode. So you you'll y'all everybody will see more stuff coming from my way, and I'm um, working on some things to get some things rolling. And yeah, it's time to time to take things to the next level. As we're saying, we're recruiting. This is it. right now. That's. We haven't recruited in a while. We actively recruited some new people, so we're reaching out, seeing you know who wants to join the team, and you know onward and upward. You know, we're 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 very consistent. I mean, we've been talking about the same thing and doing the same thing for years, for years and years. That's the one thing about us that I don't see that kind of consistency very much. <laughs> Very few people that have that kind of consistency where they can be like, yeah, this, what I was talking about 20 years ago is what I'm still talking about. It still is relevant. It's still ahead of its time. And, and you know, and we're right and, on and time. And it's, based, and it's based on our bodies going through it. Right. So, I mean, this is, this is, you know, uh, like what, 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 what did he say? Um, he said, Guy from the hair club, I'm just not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm not only the the, the president. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, we we into this, man. Yeah, yeah. we into this. This is what we do. So, so yeah, man. Yeah. All right, I'm out, man. All right, everybody. Peace, peace everybody. You know, peace. Yeah. I hope. Yeah, I, hope I hope. I hope we offended you. <laughs> yeah. yeah a little bit maybe that'll be yeah, enough to get, little you, bit. get you to do something man yeah yeah just get inspired and and just i mean it's, it's it's a privilege to do this work oh yeah you know it's a privilege to to be able to have access it's like we say the blessings it's yeah we complain about the quality of the fruit or the environments and that kind of stuff but at the end of the day, you know, I give thanks for the ability to go and get, even if they're degenerate grapes, they still help me eliminate. Yeah. I go get, you know, where I can go get some grapes. I can get some pine pineapple. I can get watermelon. No, it's not the best ever, but we don't deserve the best right now. We got work to do. We don't deserve the best yet. You know, we we, we get we get right what we deserve. Uh, I'm you know, this nasty you. fruit, like use that to clean, get as far as you can with the nasty fruit. Then the universe is going to open up the better fruit. I'm telling you. You know, we start like, making you know, our own, you know, you know growing you know, our own stuff. You don't deserve no sweet fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I just wrong with you. <laughs> sweet. Uh, maybe in a few years, maybe, but. You know, you just need something to make your bowels move. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, everybody. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in. Last question, Mamie is supposed to. Yeah, those are mucus free. Yep. And uh, all right, everybody. So, until next time, peace, peace love, and breath. We are 
mucus free. We are mucus free. We are mucus free. We are mucus free. We are mucus free. We are mucus free. We are mucus free. We are mucus free.